I'm Don Carver with Dublin Nissan. Giving back to our community is at the heart of our business. At Dublin Nissan, giving back means joining the fight against breast cancer. Buy from us in October and we'll make a donation to local charities for the fight to stop breast cancer. Only Dublin Nissan delivers the Rogue Sport S at over 5,000 off MSRP. And this Dublin Nissan Versa SR is only 17.8. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. Tonight, Welcome seven, everybody to Cleve Warnick Field at Trinity Christian Daniel. School. This is Chuck Rooms here with Paul North Williams Virginia, and uh, we're excited Daniel. to bring you the guard, game of the week this week here at Trinity Bailey. Christian School. Um, Jr. I'm Chuck Rooms. Um, I've been at that's Trinity that's here for quite a while as a coach. Uh, did a little bit of baseball and softball along the way and um, been a fan of this football that's team and this fo football program for about 13 years since I've been here and I'm here with Coach Paul Williams. Paul, how are you doing tonight? Uh, doing great. It's a great atmosphere here tonight. Uh, this is my second year here. Uh, boys basketball coach. It's been a great week with the uh, festivities that, that we've had with the dress up. And, you know, the kids are really excited about this game tonight. Yes, sir. It's been an um, exciting week for our, uh, i got a, four kids here and uh, been dressing them up every day. So uh, it's been exciting. We're about to... Um, do the national anthem here, and so we're going to just take a pause as we, we begin tonight's do contest, that. Please stand for the invocation to be given by 2013 TCS alumni Matthew Young from Blackville Church of God. And please remain standing for the honoring of America with our national anthem performed by TCS senior Gracie Zook. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for your mercy and goodness you show us. Father, I pray as tonight's game starts and continues, Lord, I pray that their safety will be on the players, the cheerleaders, the coaches, and everybody in the stands. As the night ends, Lord, I pray that you'll keep, keep everybody safe on the way home, and let us glorify you in all we do. In your name we pray. Amen. Coach, it's a great night here at the Cleve, and uh, like we talking about earlier, uh, it's an exciting time, exciting week of homecoming festivities. Uh, we just heard Gracie Zook there give us a, an unbelievable rendition of the national anthem. And uh, we know that uh, she's a, a leader in our school. Uh, she works at our, with our praise band and, and, and our worship team, and uh, so that was a, a wonderful start to the night. So looking forward to a to a the exciting game, game and uh, tell me a little bit about what's uh, what's been going on here on Paul. campus this week. Uh, well, you know, we had a dress up, dress up day every, every day. And, uh, you know, each each day has been a dress up day, and, and you know, I think I think the best thing about about, about Trinity, all the kids dress up, everybody gets involved. It's something to see every morning when you when you come into school. It's a it's a very exciting time. Absolutely, it's uh, as a parent too. You spend some money on that oh, dress up yes, stuff. We do. <laughs> Yeah, yes, it's been it's been exciting to uh, send my kids off every day, uh, and so many of you know that I've worked here for 13 years, and um, 
uh, stepped aside last year to uh, to take on a job in missions at the Lawrence Baptist Association under uh, under Mr. Bobby Jones. It's been exciting. Uh, miss these guys out here. Miss the miss the community of coaches and, and all that good stuff. I, I am excited. Going to be able to do middle school baseball this year, and uh, of course all my all my kids are playing. I got one wrestling. I got one playing basketball in your program, and my daughter playing in the bas basketball program as, as well for Coach Lacey. So, uh, a lot going on. Oh, yeah, Zach. <laughs> Stay busy. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, here come our Crusaders oh, yeah. out. Once again, excited for the night uh, tonight against a rival Bullock. Coming in, this uh, team's. Uh, just like everything else in this 2020 year, in this COVID situation and all, all the weirdness of, of COVID-19 and what that's done to schools and practices. And uh, this team's had now, I believe, about three weeks off. So almost like a brand new start. And um, as you know, as a coach, um, you're going to be dealing with all that COVID yeah, exactly. restrictions and everything here in a few weeks as well. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's definitely a, di a different world this, you know, this day and time. Uh, actually, when we pulled up, I was asking my son, when's the last time we came to a football game? And it, it's been a while. But it's a great atmosphere tonight. Yeah, um, just did the homecoming festivities here before the game started. And uh, all the all those that are involved with that are down to our right, waiting and watching until halftime. We're right here tonight about to kick it off. Trinity uh, has deferred to the second half, and they're going to be kicking the ball to, to Bullock Academy. On the kick of the Crusaders, number 16, Zane Shirley. Number 16. Right, we're kicking it off. Zane Shirley, little pooch kick. It's going to be caught at the 40 yard line. And Fair that's where Bullock Academy 17, is going to start Kennedy. tonight. Our defense is young, but they've been playing hard um, and super excited to watch and see what they can do against this offense here tonight. Coach, uh, you have a little bit of uh, idea of the athletes on this Bullock team as uh, you coached against their basketball team. A few of those athletes out here tonight on the field. Oh yes, I was. I was very. Uh, you know, probably of, of all the teams that we played, I, th I think Bullock had probably the best athletes. So, oh yeah, that's a that's a good start. Yeah, that's a good start with our defense. First down run, we got oh, yeah. hit him about a yard in the backfield. So about a yard loss, and so the defense comes out pumped up, ready to go on the first play. I think that was actually uh, Riley, Riley Summers, which, which was a transfer from West, West Orange High School. Second down and 10 for the Gators. Great start here for the defense against this, it's this big front. Got a very experienced running back in the backfield. Yeah. Come on, let's go. It's pitch to the right side, pitch it's going on, around. Get him, get him. Get him. Get him. About 20 Number yards 20, on the run around the carry. right side and Crossing finally brought field, down. All the way down to the Trinity 41 yard line. It'll be first down and 10, Bullock. So we're going to start here, this the 41 yard line, first and 10. Got around to the right there, got some of those big bodies out there uh, leading the way, and, uh, and he can run. Number 20 can run for Bullock Academy. Um, I was talking to a coach on the sideline earlier tonight, and he talked about this kid's ready to four-star athlete. Uh, he's lifted as, as an athlete on their roster, and uh, he can go, Coach. Oh, yeah. I think I was talking to him today. I think Tennessee was one of the teams that, that's really coming after him. First down. Oh, yes. Got uh, him in the backfield. Again, I think. Number 20 on the carry. Brought down the backfield. Let's see who that was. So that's. Oh, Riley Sumner. Riley Sumner. Riley again. Sumner, there once again, go. name being called tonight. He's a transfer from West Lawrence High School. Four play, bring up a second that's down that's and good to see. From yeah, Bullock. good to see. Great young man. Oh, yeah. and Great. Hit, him, hit him about four yards in the backfield and uh, takes him straight down. So, again, great effort for the defense on first down. And let's see if we can stop him here on second down. They had two yes. out to the left side here. Let's go. Here we go. We're going pitch go. left. Got him, got got him, him in got the backfield again. Good hit. Good what, hit. Number 20, Cam Harrison. what a play. He's brought in the backfield by Mitchell Gay and Mitch, Trent Mitchell Gay on the Another Cam one Harrison, the, the down. running back from Bullock Academy, takes one to the left side. It's a big, and, big um, stop here. Big stop here. We hit, stop. hit really hard by Trent Whittington, coach, um, and Mitchell Gay there on the play. Stop here if we can stop them. Big stop. We had third down and about 18 yards right here. Need a big play. Spread them out. We got three 
wide to the right. Get him. Uh -oh, he rolls rushing. to the got right. Him. We got him, got him in the oh, backfield. We have play. a sack right there. Yes, sir. I, 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 I think I knew who that is. What a play. Number yes, 34. Zach, Zach White, White oh, makes the play, and that down. kid, Coach, yes, has sir. a motor. Oh, yes, he does. It's fourth down in about, uh, about a half mile here. Zach White is a kid I like to talk about. He's a kid I coached in baseball. I know you coached him last year in basketball. Oh, yes. And I'm telling you, Coach, this kid's got a motor, and, he, and he'll oh, he motivate does, everybody man. on the field. There's the oh, – There you go. Gets the punt All away. Right. Go. Get away from it. Get away from it. Get away from it. We have it. a – Get away we from it. We have the ball hits Get the away from it. Trinity Christian School offensive player, bounces off of him, and it's recovered by Bullock Academy at about the 12-yard line. We're going to go to a break right now. We thank you for staying tuned with us here at Cleve Warnock Field at Trinity Christian School. I'm Don Carswell with Dublin Chevrolet. Giving back to our community is at the heart of our business. At Dublin Chevrolet, giving back means joining the fight against breast cancer. Buy from us in October and we'll make a donation to local charities in the fight to stop breast cancer. You'll take home savings like these. This Equinox LS is only $23,996. This 21 Trailblazer Active is only $25,295. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you'll ever meet. I'm Marshall Floyd, and I'm running to be Lawrence County's next sheriff. I've worked with the top law enforcement agency in this state, and I want to bring this relationship back to Lawrence County. But now this is my county and this is my I You made me go in and take your back and watch TV as far as I'm concerned. The man you just saw in t-shirt and a ball cap is our current Lawrence County Sheriff. Now I understand anyone can have a bad day, but when you elect me as sheriff, you will never see me act that unprofessional on any scene toward anybody in Lawrence County. On November 3rd, please vote Marshall Floyd for Lawrence County Sheriff. My name is Marshall Floyd, and I approve this message. All right, we're back here at Cleve Warnock Field. Had a big turnover there on the punt team, and uh, we got first down and 10, right. Bullock Academy, and they're on about the 13-yard line, Coach. Yeah, the defense is going to have to, have to step up big time. Thought once they had it, gotten off the field. Uh, got a run to the right. 12-yard run for a touchdown, here, Bullock Academy, touchdown. number 20. And, Coach, for a defense, that's a, that's a pretty defeating thing. You go out on a first drive against a highly rated Bullock team with a kid in the backfield that's going to play SEC ball one day, and you, yeah. get, a, you get an unbelievable stop, great momentum, and, um, and you have to come right back out there on the field after the turnover. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's like all sports. You know, once, once you turn it over, and, and you know, you give in, in – you know, you give, you give the opposing team, you know, good field position. Pick is kick, up and good. Kick is up and good. 850 remaining in the first quarter. Bullock, first seven, quarter. Seven, Bullock seven, Trinity zero. Thank you for allowing me to serve you for the past 35 years. Hello, I'm Jackie Dalton your Clerk of Superior Court in Lawrence County. I began my career in the clerk's office in 1985. I was appointed Chief Deputy Clerk in 1996 and elected as clerk in 2009. Throughout the years, I have gained knowledge and experience in every department in this office. I have a proven track record. I have gained knowledge and experience through dedication to this office and the people I serve. And I ask you to please go to the polls, vote for and reelect me as your Clerk of Superior Court. Thank you for your continued support. I'm Jackie Dalton and I approved this message. All right, welcome to Cleve Warnock Field. We're here in the first quarter with 8.50 remaining. Bullock Academy is up 7-0, to about to kick the ball off to our Crusaders. Right before that kickoff, we just want to thank some of our sponsors here tonight, the Houston Clinic, Dr. Richter and Dr. Gay, Roach, Dublin Nissan, and Dublin Chevrolet. 
We also want to mention the City of Dublin Natural Gas. Start saving today with natural gas. It's half the price of electricity. There's the kickoff. Let it go. And it's going to be taken at a fair. Roll from the back of the end zone. The Crusaders take up a first down and 10. Well, that's going to give the Crusaders a first and 10, starting at the 20 yard line. And, and coach, let's see what our offense can, can do. We're young. Uh, we got some motors on the field, but we're really young. We got a sophomore quarterback um, following in the footsteps of his brother. His brother here is here tonight on the uh, David on the field and, uh, and encouraging down there uh, with some alumni. And so here we go. First time tonight the Crusaders take the ball. First and ten. Go, go. The rider run around the right side. Mm. A couple yards. Two or, maybe two or three. Yeah, got about two on the run there. We have uh, officials are saying something. I don't think we have a flag down. They're communicating about Mr. something. Mr. carry. And then gain of two, bring up second down and eight for Trinity. Second down and eight here. Mitchell Gade got the first carry of the night. They're in tight, got two out wide. Uh-oh. Going to be a pass here. Oh, get out. Get he out goes back. Go. There you go, scrambling. Running around. He's got, got a guy got open got in the flats. Oh. Overthrows him there towards the sideline. Uh, he was running for his life there, That's Coach. Number one, Carson Martin. Ball falls in the Running for his, for his life, uh, really reminiscent of his brother there, man. He was quick and uh, can get out of trouble. And the kid is uh, just a sophomore. Uh, he's going to be a really good player. Oh, yeah, he's going to be out, outstanding, tremendous athlete. They have third down here and about seven to go. Um, two out uh, wide to the left. Come on. We drop back on the pass here. Go, go, go. Oh. He throws it, it's intercepted by Bullock, number two. Going left up the field. Hit him. 35. Boom, hit him. He's hit at the 30. He's taken down about the 27 yard line. There's a flag on the play. Um, looks That's like there may be two, a face mask on the play. Let's check that flag. Right at the 30 yard line, the ball is going to be marked. He scrambled around. Uh, had a guy just missed him um, on the interception here in the run back to the, about the 30 yard line. And uh, referee's going to make the call right here for us. Still Look, talking about like it. Looks, against looks them. like uh, it's possibly yeah, yeah. a targeting call. But we're going to get the official word here in just a second. We have personal yeah. foul against, targeting personal against, foul against Bullock. Targeting called against Bullock. And um, I didn't see it happen, Coach, nah. but it looked like it was helmet to helmet right there. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. Yeah, I think it happened on the sideline right there when they were trying to block for him. It was set up a shot. So we have 7 nothing with about 7.49 left. Um, the turnover here, and uh, Bullock's going to take the ball right out about the 46-yard line. Yeah. Be nice right here if we could get a stand right here and push him back. Yeah, that confidence that de defense oh, needs yes. to get another stop right here around midfield. Yes. First down run to the right side. Oh. He bounces out. He gets to the 40, 30. He's tackled about the 25 yard line on number the 20. Cam Harrison on the carry around right in. Big run Puts there. Out of for number 10, Wade Walker. It'll be enough in the game for the about a, about a 15 yard run there, coach. And this kid is about everything that's been advertised. Oh, yes. Um, just an SEC type of body, complete athlete. Uh, I know you saw him last year on the on the hardwood, yeah. and uh, we watched him as well as we're there supporting you. And the kid can go whether he's got a football uh, football or, ba or a basketball. Oh yeah, he's he's an athlete, no doubt about it. He was very competitive with us in Bullock last year. First, very very com oh, got a first down to the left side. There's a run. He was stopped in the backfield. Hit. Finally, they get him after about. Uh, after about a 20-yard oh, run at the two-yard line. Looks like there's a penalty. Left end. Looks like it's a little late. Out of bounds at about the two-yard line. Let's check that flag. Looks like there's possibly a late face hit or a, or a like face, a face mask. mask. Um, just doing everything they can to get that kid down um, and uh, happened to accidentally get his face mask, I believe. But uh, kids are working their tails off out there, coach, and uh, you know, oh, it's yeah. just uh, – 
anytime you're you got a guy on the other side that's going to play on Saturdays in the SEC, it's years. difficult. Oh yes, it's going to be. I'll move the ball half the distance to the goal line. It's going to be first down, coach. Here at the one yard line, it looks looks like or pretty close to the one yard line. First down and ten. Bullock inside the one. A first and goal. Bullock with 7:26 left, and. Uh, See if our defense can stand up here and get a little goal line stand. They send two out to the right again. Number two in the backfield, probably gonna get the ball. Nope, QB sneak up the middle and they've got a touchdown. So we have a touchdown. Number 12, by the number 12 QB sneak. And so coach, uh, beautiful night out here. Exciting to be back watching some high school football and uh, I know for Trinity they've had kind of had a go at it I've been off the last three weeks I think they had two games postponed and then they had a week where they were already yeah. off so um, I'm sure this week was super exciting at school all the festivities I know today was a half day and that's always great for kids when they know they got a half day coming oh yeah exactly and, and teachers and for teachers <laughs> that's right yeah that's Every, right. everybody's excited so 14, it's up and good. It's 14 to nothing Ball there. Is up and good. And it's 7 remaining in the first quarter. You score. Bullet 14. We thank you guys for being here with us at Cleve Warnick Field. 7:22 left. We're going to take a break and be right back with you. I'm Sheriff Larry Dean of Lawrence County. My budget has went up approximately $850,000 since I've been sheriff. 76% of this increase was additional offers and cost of living raises for the deputies of Lawrence County. This is only a 12% increase over a period of three and a half years. Mr. Floyd, I'm appalled that you would object to the Lawrence County deputies making a decent wage. I'm proud of my record. These are the facts, ladies and gentlemen. Ask the county commissioner. Ask someone who really knows. Please go to the polls and elect me, Larry Dean, Sheriff of Lawrence County. I'm Larry Dean and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Anna Grace Myers from Myers Equipment and Supply, inviting you to come in today and see our full line of Can-Am products. For those who live for the challenges of off-road life, we've got what you're looking for. Remember, there's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. When you want convenience, you want Neighbors Express, where you'll always find friendly, courteous service every time you visit us. Fill up with pay at the pump. Take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. Enjoy our popular crushed ice with your favorite fountain drink. And you can always enjoy a fresh, hot breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So stop by and see us today, where it's always convenient and friendly. Neighbors Express, locations at I-16 at 441 and in Cedar Grove, where we provide farm fuel for all our customers. When you want convenience, you want Neighbors Express. All right, welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field. Once again, we're back. It's 14 to nothing. Bullock, 722 left in the first. Again, we'd like to, uh, for, to to ask you to watch the Trinity Coaches Show with Coach Jimmy Fields every week on TV 35, Wednesday at 9 p.m., Thursday and Friday at 5.30 p.m., or watch it on YouTube anytime at TV 35 WDIG. So here's the kickoff. And it'll be a touchback here, and the uh, Crusaders will get the ball the at the 20-yard line. The Crusaders will take over first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. So, Coach, uh, a couple things coming up here in the future. We got uh, winter season just about to start, and that starts a uh, bunch of different uh, sports here on the Trinity campus. We have wrestling uh, that'll start up. We'll have uh, swimming, I believe, that'll start off. And, of course, we got basketball that'll start up. So I know you're excited about that. Oh, yeah. We got a first down and 10 here at the 20 yard line. Trinity Christian School, Coleman under center. Oh, awesome. Got a false start there on the right side. Got a little jumpy there, number 34. Prior to the snap, the flag on the play. Uh, procedure call against the Crusaders. Back them up five yards. Be a five yard penalty. It'll be first and 15. And, 15 and uh, try to get a little momentum here on the offensive side of the ball going forward. 
Coleman's going to be under center once again. We've talked about this young man. Um, I've had the opportunity to coach him. I know you have as well, and uh, he's just an ultimate competitor. First down and 15, under center. Come Got on. a quick pass out to there the right. Go, go. Makes one guy miss, makes go. another oh, guy miss. Oh, almost. Coach, what a great That's move the there. Class, number 25, Mitchell Gay. He ends up Mitchell getting Gay. about yep. seven or eight back. Uh, great, great pass, little bubble screen there. And uh, Mitchell Gay makes two guys and miss. Three on the play, bring up a second down <laughs> and and, um, and makes a great play there to get some, some of that uh, five yards back plus three. So we have second down and seven. Trinity moving the ball, trying to get a couple first downs here to get some momentum on the offensive side of the ball. Uh -oh, we have we a go. fake to the go. right. Go. Quarterback's in trouble, making a bunch of guys miss. We got a flag down. We have sacked down at about oh, late. the 14 yard line. Looked like there was a late hit there. I don't know yeah. if that was an, a flag as well. I, I believe there was holding on the play. No, no game on the play, let's check the flag. A couple flags out there. Yeah, a couple flags out Maybe. there. One right where, um, right at the end there. So I think that may have been a, a late hit. Late hit. Yeah, if we get a big play maybe to get momentum. I mean, yeah. Holding called against the Crusaders. That penalty will be a decline. So no no late hit there. It was a holding down. play on the Crusaders. It was declined by Bullock. We have third down, and now we're back to our original about third and 15. Got a tight formation. Two guys to the right for Trinity. Oh, oh, got him. Got a okay. penalty right look, there. Offsides on. Looks like offsides on, on offsides Bullock on coach. Is that right? Yeah, look like offsides on them. Offsides on Bullock, and that's yeah, going to give us a little bit. Us out. A little bit back there. That'll be all sides against Bullock. I'll move us up another five yards. Got a, a, got a bunch of young really young guys out there. We talked earlier for Trinity. And um, I tell you, I love watching how uh, Coach Jimmy Fields has has uh, really uh, coached these guys up. And, um, you know, we'll get to Coach Fields here in just a minute. But uh, not a better guy that I know of in oh, coaching. I, I, don't, I don't know him a better I'm, we Come got a pitch grab, to the right. Grab, There's a fumble him. on the play. Bullock picks the ball up, and they're going to return it Humble for about three yards. And that's going to be first Humble down Bullock, Bullock at about the 10-yard line, Coach. Looks like we may have an injury on the play at Trinity. Number 38 is coming off. Um, got kind of got messed up there in uh, all that when the ball went down on the ground. That's I believe was that number 30. Nine I'm was at Trent Whittington, the ten yard line possibly Gators. coming off injured. I think he's going to be all right, but looked like he got a little dinged up right there. But as we were uh, we were talking earlier here, um, Coach Fields, uh, as many of you know in the community, has been diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, and uh, uh, I tell you, this guy here is uh, loves the Lord Jesus Christ with all his heart, and uh, and we'll talk more about him through the night about his journey. First down, Bullet. We got a pitch to the right side. Got him Ooh. in the backfield. He's met by about Get five it. guys, and, and coach, he just won't go down. Ended up getting look, number two, like Ronnie Hill on the carry, zero, right but side. he ended up getting about three or four on the play. Um, man, we need a we need a big stop right here, Trinity Christian five School. On the play, bring up a second down and goal. Six from the yard line. line for Bullet. And uh, need a big stop right here, and something needs something to go our way. A fumble, or interception. Uh, defense is playing hard. Oh, yes. Uh, they're really playing hard there. And um, go back to that first possession Bullock had, man, they came out on fire and uh, ended up g getting the ball back on a punt and then, and then a little mistake there. But we have second and goal about the six yard line. Hand up right up the middle and he walks right in untouched. For a touchdown. Number 20, Cam Harris on the carry, right up the middle. Cam Harris right up the middle. That game will be enough for another bullet touchdown. As they come out to attempt the extra point. So, Coach, we were talking about Coach Fields. Um, man, I tell you, he, he uh, for me, is um, he's dear to my heart. He's a, he's a man that loves the Lord. He's an inspiration to everybody, and he's a fighter. Number 15, and, uh, Owen Anderson. I tell you, um, extra a lot bullet. of people in his situation uh, wouldn't have coached this year. Oh, no, they and uh, man, he is definitely wouldn't. He's given his heart and his soul, and um, 
the extra points up and good. It's 21 to nothing. Good. Bullock with 530, with 530 the left in the first quarter. Zero. We'll be right back with you at Cleve Warnick Field. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent. And the company that stands behind them. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Hey, I'm Tom Dominey with Devlin Wynn Nelson, and we're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and is able to answer your questions and is ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Devlin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment doing things right one customer at a time. So come by and see us at Dublin Wynn Nelson, 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478-272-3585, or stop by and see our website at DublinWynnNelson.com. Welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field. It's 21 nothing Bullock Academy, with about 5.30 left in the first, the kickoff. It's going to be a touchback here. The Crusaders will get it at the 20-yard line. So, Coach, we ended that right there before uh, we went to that break about talking about Coach Fields and the inspiration he is. And um, I tell you, um, I can't say anything uh, else, but, man, this guy loves Jesus, and he's a fighter, and um, he, he is pouring into these young men on this field. And Trinity Christian School is just so lucky to have this guy in the locker room and on the field. We have first down at the 20-yard line. We got to run off the left oh, side. They, we got oh, a there you go. we got an option. He gets it off. He gets about eight on the on the option to the well, left out the there. Left in. A great play had me had me looking for where the ball was. <laughs> but we're gonna have second down um, and about three yards to go. Yeah, um, we just need something positive game, right now to happen. Some, something something positive to go into the second quarter. Absolutely, need to get something rolling with about 522 big left. Big play, big pass. At least uh, let's get us a first down here and get some of that um, excitement. We got to run to the right, right up the middle, right side of the center. I think he ends up getting there uh, about about two yards, Davis really Smith. close to the first down. Ball right in the middle, no gain on the play. Bring up the third down from Trinity. He actually, he's going to get the first down. He's going to say the first down is good. He had to get to the 30, and the ball is touching the 30 uh, on the ground, and he's going, uh, they're going to award him the first down. So that's a great sign, Coach. Um, when you're down 21 nothing to a team like this, it's easy to uh, pack it in. But offense come out, and uh, uh, looks like they're fired up to get something going. And so first down at the 30-yard line. Uh, at a school like Trinity, at any any small private school around the country, uh, all these guys play just about everything, Coach. Oh, yes. uh, so they know each other, they love each other, they care for each other. There's a first down play off the right side. He ends up getting just about a yard, yard and a half. But um, as we were talking about, these they guys know each other. They Most of them have grown up with one, each other. And, and a lot of them who've just come in or transferred in one. throughout the years, they've become just like family really quickly. and. Um, and so when you're with each other every day in practice, as you know, and you're running together and sweating together, man, you, you learn to love each other. Got second down and nine. Oh, offsides. Got we have in. offsides. Looks like number 59. Same, same guy as last time. Yeah, same guy. 59 Moving for Bullock. Line, jumped ahead. And so, uh, yeah, these guys are always around each other. It's a small class environment. And uh, so, so they're family. And you watch. Um, you know, I watched. I rode by. Um, watch them practice sometimes, Coach. You watch them out there, and uh, the coaching staff is relentlessly in the middle of this uh, pandemic and all the restrictions. They're relentlessly going out there and giving it all they have. And uh, as a coach, that's all you can do. Bring up second down and four. So after the penalty, we got second down about four yards. 
So again, love, love to get another first down here and get some get some momentum. We've got a quick bubble go, screen out go, to the right. Go. Makes the first guy go. miss. Gets up the field. Pass complete in the flats, number 25. Ends up, getting about, ends up getting about two yards. So we're going to have sec, third down and, and about two. Carter Snipes. Um, that play has been effective for us. We've got some uh, quick, quick little passes out there to the right side. Mitchell Gaze made a guy and miss two. and uh, and got some positive yards. So third down and two, with three minutes and 25 seconds left in the first quarter. And need a big push right here to get this first down. Got one guy out to the left. Behind, he's Coleman's up under center. Going to the oh, left, yeah. right up the middle. Oh, Looks like it. he's got yeah, it. He got what a push out. by that line. Ben and I tell you, Ben Butler, you, ben Butler um, this kid I, I've coached when he was in the sixth grade in middle school when he was uh, a small little guy. But this kid has put on uh, oh, yeah. some muscle, and oh, he is yeah. a strong young man. And um, if you know Ben Butler, he's just a great kid, great heart. And, uh, man, he he – he put it down and uh, got that three or four yards there to get the first down. So, man, two, two first downs in a row. We're making some progress here with about two minutes and 50 seconds left. First down play. We have a oh. fake bubble screen. We're oh, going oh, deep down the right-hand side. Try to go to Chandler there. Chandler Asbell, Chandler Asbell down the right side. Second down and 10 for Ball was a little high above his head, but I tell you, that's a great target to try to throw it up yeah, to. Yeah, that's a big target. Um, and as you know, many of you know Chandler from our basketball squad last year. He's a kid who uh, is quiet as quiet can be. I've taught him for, for a few years as well, but the kid can play some basketball. He's fun to watch. And uh, that team's fun to watch, Coach. And um, I tell you, you did a great job with them last year. Yeah, appreciate it. And, Thank uh, you. And I know the community is really excited to see what we're going to put on the on the yeah. hardwood this year. Yeah, it should be a great year. Second down and 10. Got a little end around. Makes the first guy miss. Ends up getting about three yards right there. We got a bullet gator that's hurt in the backfield. We're going to have an official timeout right here. We're going to take a break right now. We're here at Cleve Warnock Field, and thank you guys for watching us, and we'll be right back. Every team has a leader, and Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking is Farmers State Bank, proudly supporting local high school football. Farmers State Bank salutes those who make our community great by working hard to make Friday night football happen. Go Irish, go Falcons, go Crusaders, go Raiders, and count on the team at Farmers State Bank, Lawrence County's leader in hometown banking. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. You can't go wrong if you vote for my friend, Carolyn McCune. I am the best choice for the Lawrence County Clerk of Superior Court. Whatever Carolyn sets her mind to do, she can do it. I have the transferable experience. I have the knowledge. She tells me she's going to do something, and she follows through. I am a community servant. I want to serve you all. You all are my constituents. You hire me. So I'm going to do the best possible job for all of Lawrence County. Not one sector, but all of Lawrence County. I would um, gladly endorse her uh, for this position. I am Carolyn McLendon McCune, your next clerk of Superior Court of Lawrence County. All right, we're back with you here at Cleve Warnick Field. Um, I believe it was number 46, the injured Bullet Gator, and uh, they have him, got him off the field. We hope he's he's going to get back in the game. We we hope he's going to be fine. We have uh, third down and seven, right uh, about the 45-yard line. We need this momentum to keep us going. Oh. Got oh, him in the backfield. He's scrambling, trying to get out of there. He's sacked that down all the way back at the 30-yard line. And the uh, line just couldn't hold right there. They gave everything they had and um, couldn't hold those guys. I think there's some beast on that line for, for Bullock, Coach. Um, 
So this is going to be fourth down in about 25 now, yards. They're on 30 yard line. Will be fourth down. They're going to punt right here with about a minute 50 left in uh, first quarter. Yeah, I just saw 72. That we, got a, we got a uh, snap over his head. The kicker's in the end zone with the ball. He's trying to get out of the end zone. He looks like he got uh, out of the end zone. It's not going to be a safety coach, but he got looks to the one yard line. Um, didn't need that to happen. Snapped it over his head and and uh, he did everything he could not to let them get that ball in for a touchdown. That's number four, Jim Coleman. So at the one yard line, it's a minute 34 left in the first quarter. Bullock Academy is first and goal on the uh, bad snap over Jim Coleman, the punter's head. And he did everything he could to save the touchdown and get it out to the one yard. yard. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout right here called by Trinity. Timeout call on the field. The and once again, we thank you for being with us and watching us today here at uh, Cleve Warnick Field, and we'll be right back with you. Hi, I'm Adrian Love. I'm a proud Soperton native and resident and our candidate for district attorney. This is my mom, Doris Love. She's our campaign church coordinator. Mama, would you tell the audience a little bit about who you are? Okay, well, I'm the proud mother of Adrian, number one, and I am the uh, vice president of the Women's Auxiliary of the 12th District of the General Missionary Baptist Convention of Georgia. Um, Adrian is tough. She's tough on crime, she's fair, and she's a hard worker but you can depend on her to do what she said she will do. I know that because I know her. Thank you, Ma. She's also a retired educator, having taught for how many years? 38 years. And how many of those were here in Soperton? Uh, about 25 here in Soperton. So she likely taught many of you, your mothers, and possibly even your grandmothers, but she's not that old. <laughs> Mama, you're the reason that I am where I am today. Your upbringing, your love, your unyielding and undying support, your firmness, even though I did not appreciate it all the time, <laughs> that still exists today. Your um, encouragement to be all that I can be, your encouragement to um, treat everybody like they count. You know, when you wouldn't let me say, oh, they don't count. <laughs> your admonishments about um, me saying those things when I was frustrated, um, your, uh, just your constant love is the reason that I am where I am today. So thank you. <laughs> oh gosh. What you did, put lipstick oh, all over my face. It's bad. That's all right. All right, so welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field. This is Chuck Grooms with Coach Paul Williams here with you tonight. I want to just mention some of our sponsors tonight. City of Dublin Natural Gas. Start saving today with natural gas. It's half the price of electricity. We have first and goal at the one-yard line, Bullock Academy. Under center, we have a quarterback sneak up the middle, and he's in for the touchdown. With a minute 30 left. Right in the middle. We'll we have uh, we have a special guest, one of my great friends here, Coach Gary Sanders, with us tonight. Um, and, and Coach, we're just going to be up here just chatting. But um, uh, many of you know uh, Coach Gary and I uh, coach together. Uh, he's a dear friend of mine. I love him to death. Uh, a mentor to me when I first moved to Georgia with my family. He actually coached for our arch rival. Uh, John Millage Academy when I first got here, the, the extra point's good. 28 nothing Trinity right now with a minute 30 left. But uh, we're going to stay right here, I think, uh, just to talk a little bit. But, yeah, when I first got here and coaching the uh, varsity baseball team, uh, Coach Gary Sanders uh, was, the, was the coach of our arch rival, John Millage Academy. And I tell you what, he was the first coach to really kind of reach out to me and um, just really take me under his wing. And uh, I consider him a great friend. Um, 
been with me all over the, we've traveled on mission trips to the Dominican Republic and coached together. Coach Coach Sanders, how you doing tonight? I do a great job, but I don't know that all that is true that's talked about, but I appreciate you all great friends. I've learned an awful lot from you, and uh, it's been a pleasure to be coached with you. I hate you're still not out there with us, but uh, I know doing other things too, but uh, glad you'll still be involved with the, with the middle school baseball. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, Gary and I have coached for years. We've talked together uh, at Trinity. Um, he, he's, why, he's one of the many reasons I'm so thankful my kids are here at Trinity Christian School. He loves the Lord. Uh, he's, a, he's a great baseball coach. He, he doesn't like me saying that. Uh, he's a humble guy, but I, I'm telling you, uh, he's a great man, great coach, and he loves the Lord and does a great job with our teams. Um, and so the minute 30 left, uh, we'll get back here to talking with Coach. There's the kickoff by Bullock Academy. It's going to be a touchback, and Trinity will start from the 20-yard line. Coach, um, last year was probably maybe the craziest year and, and probably all of our coaching careers with COVID-19 hitting. Um, tell us a little bit about that, how, how strange that was. Uh, it, it, it was something like I say, been, been, been coached for 38 years and never experienced anything like it, where you walk off the field that last game and then all of a sudden, I uh, said, we're not going to be able to play. And then you thought maybe a game or a week or something. The next thing you know, it's two weeks through, so in the whole season. And, you know, nobody really expected that, knew what to do. And my heart bled for those seniors who, when they walked off that field, thinking they had the whole senior year ahead of them, yes, sir. it was yeah. over. First down uh, there, we got a run up the middle. Uh, 24, ben ended up on the carry of the middle. getting about one yard there. Of one on the play, but yeah, it was heartbreaking for those guys. Uh, you've coached them a long time, and I've coached them coming up as well. And uh, just to, I think for every senior in the country, uh, it was just a strange, heartbreaking time for those guys and girls last year. We got second down right here. Um, Coleman under center, trying to gain a little bit of momentum. 55 seconds left. It's handoff, fake handoff there. He's up the middle. Coverage is broken down. He's got some room. He's going to run around the right side. He gets out of bounds for a first down. Jim Coleman on the keeper. Around the 40, about the 35 yard line. Running the bounds in the Trinity 35 yard coach, line. Coach, it was a strange time. Trinity first down. And, um, you know, those guys, we're going to look back in history and say that, that uh, senior class is gotten really gypped. They didn't get their senior year, and if they went to college to play, a lot of them aren't going to get to play that freshman year in college because of the same situation going on with colleges as well. We got a first down right here, right at the 35-yard line after the good scramble there, hitting the backfield. It's going got, – got back to the line of scrimmage. But, Coach, um, I hated not uh, – one of the reasons I hated uh, this COVID situation coming in Davis and, uh, and, and you guys not getting Actually, to play is, man, you had, a, you had a really, uh, I think, young, but a really good team uh, to, to work with last year Actually, and the didn't really get to see that play out. Yeah, we did. We had we felt like we, had, we would have a good year coming into it. And I, what it tells me is, you know, we can't take anything for granted because right. it can be taken from us. But, you know, one thing we know, Good Lord, he's in charge, he's in control, and he, he's got a plan for all of us. But, you know, sometimes that's hard for us to just sit back and and realize. But, that's you right. know, we can't assume to take anything quarter. for granted. Yes, sir. We're at the end of the first quarter here at Cleve Warnock Field. Crusader it's fans, look out for the Christmas Bullet, Trinity, Trinity Zero. We thank you again for watching. We, we hope you come second. back right after it's the break. We're going to be talking with Coach Christmas Sanders, uh, the varsity baseball coach support. here at Trinity right, Christian PCL. School. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County is here to help you with all of your financial needs. Our team knows what it takes to make life easy and convenient and will help you get set up with our mobile and online banking. We founded Community Bank on common sense banking and a dedication to help people just like you. Our lender, Amy Thompson, loan officer, Gail Rainey, executive vice president, Brian Basemore, and president CEO, Chuck Harwell, know what it takes to make life easy and convenient and can help you with loans for almost everything from your automobile, home, land, or any financial goals you have. Come visit us today. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, where common sense banking never goes out of style.
quality products and installations since 1985. That's Four Seasons. Welcome back to Trinity Christian School. We're at the Cleave tonight. Uh, Number 15, Owen Anderson went back in punt formation for the Gators. This is MK Williams was our homecoming queen tonight. Back deep for, for Trinity, we Wade Walker so and Jim Coleman. To her. Uh, we're here in the second half, minute 40 left in the third quarter. Trinity Christian School going to get the ball back, try to put some more points on the board. Gets the punt away. They're going to get away from it, let it be downed. It's going to be down about the 30 yard line. The ball's in, ball's in a roll dead near the 30 yard line of Trinity. So we've been talking here about Trinity there. Christian School tonight. Um, thankful for it in my own personal personal life, the opportunity to teach here and grow here. A lot of friends, a lot of coaches here. I'm thankful I get still get to come back and do uh, middle school baseball. baseball. They've asked yeah. me to do that. So um, we were going into our middle school baseball season, season last year and got, got yeah. cut because of COVID. Had a great team. Had a great bunch of eighth graders that are going to be moving up to Coach Sanders of varsity the field. freshman this year. Yeah. And I tell you, there's some there's a lot of talent coming up in that baseball program as well, and I'm excited about that. And created a good strong history with that here. Yeah, great great baseball program over the over the history of Trinity Christian School. We got first and ten. Great pass yeah, up the middle. Right across the middle and to the outside. Going, going right up the middle. He's still going. He is down He's now to the 40-yard line. Pass to the number 25, about a, Mitchell Gay. About a 25-yard. The monster block yeah. thrown. Great, By great job Miller. there. Great way to improvise and then find the open receiver. These guys hadn't quit. They, they no, haven't done that. No. They are playing hard and they're playing to get better. 36 seconds left. He's back to pass to the right. He scrambles a little bit. He's got a guy open. Oh. Threw in a little bit of coverage there. Overthrew his guy. Pass by Cole. Pass Cole's incomplete. incomplete. So 23 seconds left in, in the third quarter. And um, again, talked a lot about the opportunities at Trinity Christian School. Um, and very thankful, like we said, about, about being here and the staff here and our leadership here. First and 10 at the 39 yard line, excuse me, second and 10 at the 39 yard line. He is back to pass once again. Trying to look for an open receiver. Got a guy in the middle. Of the, oh, he's going up. deep. Nobody there. Incomplete pass, incomplete pass. So he's trying, they're trying to find something. Pass all the Just couldn't get it. Clock now be the final. Seven seconds. Almost left the final play of the ball game. In the in the court in the quarter. Once again, we're th we thank you for tuning in tonight for being here at the Cleve. If you haven't had a chance to come out and see a game, yeah, we'd love for out. you to come out. Great environment. About I think it's about uh, seven years ago now they redid this stadium. Nice. Uh, it looks great. Everything surrounding it looks really good. The concession area, the the bleachers for our guests. It's a, it's, a, it's a great place to come see a game. Third down, back to pass, short pass, flips it. Trying to keep it alive. What a great play there, fighting to keep it alive. Looking liner complete to Chandler Asbell with a base to Mitchell Gay. Now be the final play of the contest. The final, the final score, 49, for 30, 15. We thank you for being here at the Cleve. Congratulations to the Gators. Final Wish you score, and your fans a safe travel. Safe ride home well, back to Thank you, Dr. Kohler, for being with us tonight. You, and Trinity nice. fans will be in action and next week in Savannah and St. Andrews. Love watching what they're doing out here right now. Can't shake hands, but a lot of camaraderie That's right, right now. Just guys. Thank you so much for being for here tonight. Hard work. Congratulations once again hands. our homecoming queen, so Ms. McKay Williams, uh, for being with thank us you, tonight. Thank you, Coach for having me. We enjoyed being here. And uh, we're signing off here at the Cleve, and uh, we will see you next week. F. Lake and the staff at Lakes Alignment has been serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1954, offering you the best in suspension, alignment, and tire services. And now, Elf and Lisa Lake are proud to announce 
the addition of Neil Harden and our 24-hour truck trailer and tire repair facility with state-of-the-art equipment. Lakes Tire Facility is conveniently located to I-16 and all roads throughout Middle Georgia. Call on us 24 hours a day, seven days a week for truck, trailer, and tire repair. Call 272-4230, serving the Southeast for over 65 years. Lakes Alignment and now 24-hour truck, trailer, and tire repair. This is former Governor Roy Barnes, and I'm asking you to vote for my friend Kendrick Mack as coroner of Lawrence County. I've known Kendrick since his uncle, Johnny B. Hall, worked for me in the governor's office. He's a great individual with business experience, and he has a great plan to help grieving families during times of tragedy and loss. So on November 3rd, remember Kendrick Mack and keep him at the top of your list for coroner of Lawrence County. All right, well, welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field on this beautiful Friday night. Uh, we're just beginning the second quarter. Bullock 28, Trinity Christian School 0. Trinity Christian School has the ball. We've got second down and 10 at the 35-yard line. we got Coleman behind center. Got a pitch to the left side. We have balls, whistles, flags are down. It looks like we're going to have a false start. The flag on the play prior to the snap. Didn't need that there after we had a little bit of momentum going. Let's see what the official says. The illegal procedure called against the Crusaders and back them up five yeah. yards, bring up we got second, second down, down and 15. 15 from our own 30. So yeah, coach, we talked about the, just the, the difficult season last year and I know it, it wasn't just us, it was all over the country and all over the world. And uh, um, just a, a, a something that we've never seen in our lifetimes as coaches or anybody here in the world. Uh, but God's been good, and we're here tonight um, at Trinity Christian School. We're in school, um, and God has been good. Oh, he is. He has been. Second down and about 15 yards ago, we got a quick pass out to the left side. Ends up getting about three yards on the play. That's completely number 25. Be third down. Out in the flats. Coach, so many around the world have lost their, lost their lives from, from this COVID-19. We just want to say that, that our hearts and prayers are, are with everybody Morning, out there around the world, but also in, in our own community. We have we have uh, loved ones, pastors, yeah, friends, down at 14, family, Crusaders. Um, all over all over our community who's dealt with this, uh, who's lost loved ones, and we just uh, we just want to let them know Trinity Christian School loves them and is behind them. We got a third down here. He is in. He has scrambled around. We have, looks like, an uh, incomplete pass right here. Um, not sure what they're calling here. He was scrambling around right about 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage. And I believe they ended up um, giving him an incomplete pass right there. Pass the ball incomplete. Bring up fourth yep. down. It's going to be fourth down. And it looks like they're going to punt it away here with 11 minutes left in the second quarter. So, Coach, um, Going into this year, you know, uh, as, a, as a varsity baseball coach and coaching for 17 years, I know you're probably starting to get thinking about um, what your guys are doing and, and uh, conditioning and all that. There's a punt off to the right side, uh, flubbed it a little bit. It's going to make it to the 50-yard line. Coleman's punt's going to roll down to the 50-yard line. With 11.04 left, we're going to take a break here, and we'll be right back with you here at Trinity Christian Church. Well, Hey, I'm Glenn Register with Hometown Supply. Hometown Supply, located in downtown Dublin, is here for all of your home and hardware needs. We are committed to providing you with quality products and service on our full line of new and used appliances. We also offer service on most any brand of appliance on the market today. So if you need repairs on appliance, just give us a call here at Hometown Supply. Local delivery is available for merchandise sold. Anything that a customer needs, we take care of. Just remember, if you can't do business at Hometown Supply, you just can't do business.
Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amana equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. You're a Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. So welcome back. Uh, to Cleve Warnick Field at Trinity Christian School. I'm here with Coach Gary Sanders, uh, chatting a little bit here in the second quarter. 28-0 Bullock Academy, first and 10 Bullock at the 50-yard line. Quarterback rolls right, ooh, almost hitting the backfield, and taken down, he gets away, scrambles out. He's gonna make it about <laughs> about eight and a half yards. Well, will be on the keeper around right in. Um, thought we had him there in the in the backfield. We'll take the ball uh, had a hand on him. Uh, just couldn't get him down there. Second down and two. Second down and two. Um, so, Coach Sanders, you got an exciting group coming back. You, um, I love the young talent you have, and you got some some arms and a lot of arms, and that's a good problem. That is a good problem to have because we're, we're you know playing three games a week. Uh, we hope to have with the numbers of JV this year too. We got a lot of arms uh, that need to some, get some experience in it. We've got a good junior class as far as numbers. We'll have 10, about 10, 11 juniors. Senior class won't be, but we'll have junior Harrison class there. We'll have good numbers, so we're excited about it. Got got quality and quantity. Yes, sir. Uh, that was second down there. We brought down by Kyle uh, Curry, Trey Miller, about three yard run Rogers. down for the first down. They're calling the chain game to, to go ahead and move it down for the first down. Man, I'm telling you. I will be enough um, for a bullet first down. This bullet team has got some big old boys on that line, and uh, and they're just pushing their way forward. And uh, like I said earlier in the first quarter, when you got a guy in the backfield that um, is being recruited by the SEC. Um, it's tough. It's a tough night, and uh, here he is again. First down. You got two guys out, and looks going to be like it's going to be offsides. Moving on the line of scrimmage prior to the snap. On Trinity be Christian offsides School. against the Crusaders. So, Coach, we we, we um, have a lot of those young arms, yards, and, and you and I have coached for a lot of years, and we know that um, you can't ever have too many arms. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, but not only do you have a bunch of great arms, you've got some speed, you've got some great defenders, and, and I'm telling you, you got some guys that can swing it. We do. We've got a lot of kids coming out, a lot of guys, some young ones have got some experience last year, even though we'd only played five games. But they still got a little bit of time in, and, and we're excited about the year. We're excited about uh, the arms, the, the young talent we have, and, and I'm anxious to see us out there and see if they have progressed in it and what they've done. But get, we'll go ahead and get out there for long, start conditioning and, uh, and get and we'll, getting ready. We'll be passed all yeah, it won't be long. We had a, about a 20 yard incomplete pass there by Bullock Academy. Tried to go uh, for number 13 deep tonight. right there, see what they could we'll get. And it was defended well. It's going to be second and five here for the Bullock Gators um, as they come to the line of scrimmage. That defense is still playing as hard as they can play. They've had some, some turnovers that's put them in some bad positions, but they're working hard to do this thing well tonight. Got second down and five, a handoff to Cam, right side. He's up the middle, and he is all the way down for a touchdown. About a 40-yard run there, and when he hits that second Cam level, on the carry. looks like there's some flags on the play. Looks like there's, there's going to be touchdown. some. It's going to be after the Ball touchdown. The touchdown the flag it's going to be after a touchdown. It's going to, looks like it's going to be. Looks like it's going to be on Bullock Academy. A little extracurricular activities there. I think just people getting heated. Um, and and uh, personal foul. So I don't know how that really works there in high school football, coach. I, I think that's after that the touchdown. Wasn't it? I thought it was, but it looks like it looks like they're, they're maybe saying it's a before he scored. That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe trying to decide will it be enforced on the kickoff or not? But it looks like it's going to be enforced now. Yeah. This, no. No. They are going to give him the touchdown the right there. They're going to kick the extra point here, and it'll be enforced on the kickoff. Yeah. And so, Coach, um, you know, it's exciting to it's exciting time of year for a bunch of reasons. I mean, college football and everything's just been a little different. Everything's a little later right now. Big Ten starts up this this weekend. They're a little late to the show. Um, and us here in the SEC country, we're not too worried about them. Big Ten, are we? No. Uh, you know, I think they thought 
thought other schools might follow them, but you know, they were playing, so I think they, That's right. they, they had to play. Well, the uh, extra point's up and good. It is uh, 35 to zero, Bullock Academy uh, here at the Cleve. It's 9.20 left in the second quarter, and we'll be right back with you. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. You want to acquire real-world skills instead of student loan debt? OFTC gives you an opportunity to succeed in a safe and caring learning community with flexible classes on campus and online. In just two years, you could be ready for a career in a lucrative field that you love. Whatever lies ahead, education and skills training from OFTC can give you the confidence to succeed. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Think differently about college. OFTC is an equal opportunity institution. Welcome back to Trinity back Christian to School. Number four, Jim it's 35, nothing number Bullock 10, Academy. 920 left in the second. Bullock's gonna be kicking off here. It's gonna be fielded about the 20 yard line. It's off, bounces off his hands. We ended up recovering our fumble at about the 32 yard line. And that kick will be down at Trinity's own 32 So, Coach, as I look down on the sidelines down tonight, I see um, I see our coaching staff giving their all. I see Coach Fields down there. We talked a little bit earlier with Coach Williams, Lord, and uh, and God is using uh, Coach Fields so so much, and um, he's a fighter. He's a great example to not only our guys on the field, but to our whole community. He is, and he, He's out there, you know, physically, but mentally he is sharp as he can be, and he's, he's all in it for those kids. He's going to give them everything he's got. We have a first down run for about five yards. 44, Ben Butler on the carry at the Looks middle. like there's some flags on the, on the field. Ben Butler again. The flags on the field. Ben Butler up the middle working, working his tail off tonight. We have a, we have a personal foul, personal foul against the after Crusaders. the play against the Crusaders. So it's going marching back 15 yards, I believe, from that spot. But coach, you look down there at, um, you know, I see coach uh, Clint Crozier. He's kind of been tasked this year with being uh, Coach Field's right-hand man and being with him and helping him. And he's just shared even some stories that they've had together of just the encouragement. Um, and and if, you, if you don't know Coach Fields, uh, be praying for him. He was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease uh, right before COVID. Come out on the field, call by and, um, the first charge. Come out and he house. needs our prayers. But I'm telling you, he's a fighter, and um, he always says that uh, that uh, God is is using him in a mighty way, and we can see that through this team. So we'll be right back with you at Cleve Warnock Field, 35 to nothing, Bullock Academy. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back. My name is Marshall Floyd, and I want to be Lawrence County's next sheriff. Our county is experiencing some of the worst crimes in its recorded history. The FBI recently published that crimes have increased in Lawrence County and have become a major problem since 2017. Our own county seat has been listed the ninth most dangerous place to live in the entire state of Georgia. This is why I want to be your sheriff. When elected sheriff, I will work closely with all law enforcement agencies and community members. With this partnership, we will form a team to combat the drug dealers, gang-related crimes, and stop gang recruitment. Career criminals have terrorized our county for far too long. Our current sheriff only dances around these problems. It's time to end the games. It's time to get serious. Because Lawrence County, you deserve more. As your next sheriff, I will get the job done. Vote Marshall Floyd, Lawrence County Sheriff. I'm Marshall Floyd, and I approve this message. I'm Stan Cooey, the headmaster at Trinity Christian School. Academically, we've got great teachers here, great staff, employees, 
That'll do everything to educate your child. Standardized tests are above the state and uh, national average. Graduates are able to get into the schools they want with the HOPE scholarship intact. Uh, we talk about building character and a discipline and, and safe environment at Trinity. Most of all is that we're going to provide a spiritual background for your child to learn about Jesus Christ. You know, we have chapel for all ages. If you've got questions about Trinity that you want to come out and uh, see me, I'll be glad to meet with you or Pam Horn, our admissions director, and we'll be glad to meet with you and sit down and give you a tour. Come out and see us and we'll uh, tell you about Trinity. Hey, welcome back now. to Cleveland okay, Field. Okay, We're five. here with uh, in the second Group quarter, eight, nine six, minutes eight, left. Um, I'm here with Coach Gary class, Sanders and uh, grade, with just talking a little bit about um, and Coach Wyatt, Fields fifth grade, and his class, staff one, four, and uh, their heart for these young men. And, 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 um, Congratulations to these classes. It's, it's exciting a cookie uh, party from to be here because you see a lot of the alumni back coach that we've coached and taught. And of course, on homecoming week, you see a lot of those. So we have first down after the penalty in about 25 yards. Option right, he gets the option off. He's hit in the backfield. He's dropped for about a yard's loss. Um, You're a 10 way walker. So I look around, Coach, we in. have a lot of alumni on campus tonight. I know you've seen a lot of them as well. Even up to my left here, one of our coaching Lost staff, the play. Bring up Mr. Jake Walker, I've seen here tonight. And, uh, and I uh, see others. I saw David Coleman. And your player on the field. I see Craig Hightower also down a few uh, uh, on the field tonight. And I can't name them all, but uh, they're here, and it's fun to see those those guys and girls walking around and uh, being back. It's fun to be a part of their lives. Right, Coach? It is. It's good to see all of them. You, you know they're going off to the next chapter in life, and it's good to see them come back and tell, them, tell you how well things are going and, and how glad they are to be back and visit. Looking an injured player. Each class of grades, K-4 to fifth grade. So, Coach, grade, I know that you and I have coached a lot together, and um, it's been fun to, to, to learn under you class, and uh, just to watch you and uh, to be a part of you. And, uh, and I had the opportunity to coach both your girls in, uh, in softball. Uh, also, also, while I was here, I did softball, middle school softball, and they're, they're Georgia Bulldogs right now all the way. All I used the way. to, Go I used to um, give it to them a lot because I'm a South Carolina Gamecock. And I, I can hold my head high at least this year after the big upset last year. Um, so, so nobody can make fun of me this year, but probably by the end of the year, I'll, they'll give it back to me. I don't know. They, they're playing well right now. I have to give Colby every time he wears a game card sweatshirt a <laughs> hard time about it, though. But. We got second down and about 30. He rolls out to his left. Got a little bit of room. Good block right there. They're going, they're going throw a flag on that. He's pushed out after about a seven yard gain. Uh, looks like Holy they're gonna, struggles. looks like they're gonna down to the throw an illegal block run. call there in the backfield, the personal the foul. Play. Let's check those flags. Um, right in front of the official there. Um, and I'm, I, I, I'm assuming they're gonna say the, uh, the kid did not know um, he was blindsided. I don't think blindsided block is what they're calling, but you know, yeah, uh, in the old days, that was a heck hitters. of a block right there. He did a good job protecting his quarterback. Yeah, I, th I thought he did too. I thought, I thought it was that. clean. Uh, but in this day and age, uh, uh, they're going to pr protect everything yeah. as much as they possibly can. So, yeah, yeah, I taught your girls. They played softball for me. Um, loved coaching them. Uh, they just like you. They're tenacious. They play hard. And... Um, and now they're at the University of Georgia representing Trinity Christian School. Um, and so, got a great family. And, um, you know, I, I miss all them as well. We're going to have second down, and it looks like we're going to be about 35 yards. Second down and 35. Trying to get something positive going before halftime. Um, second down. Run it right up the middle. He's got about three yards before they bring him down right there. Davis Neffin on the carry. So at halftime, we'll have our uh, homecoming right, festivities. They're going to announce Casey. the winner of the of the homecoming queen uh, 2020. And so if you'll stay tuned for that. That'll bring up third down for Trinity. So if you, 
If you look at what we're, what we're uphill battle here tonight, 35 nothing, about seven minutes left. Got a third down play right here in about 35 yards. Maybe a little bubble screen or something to get some things going, get some positive yards. We have a fumble, balls down, uh, popped right out of his arms. Um, fumble on the play. And it's going to be recovered by Bullock Academy. The Bullock Academy is going to have the ball about the 12 yard line. What 77. First and 10 on the turnover with 7.26 left in the second quarter. We keep, keep giving Bullock a short field, and you know, you can't give good teams, keep giving them short field, yeah. except for turnovers. It's kind of like in baseball when you. When you give those free passes on the bases, when you give those walks, uh, we always say, you know, every walk is going to come back to haunt you. It will. It will come back and get you every time, the free stuff. So, we want to just know. mention real quick, the city of Dublin, natural gas. Start saving today with natural gas. It's half the price of electricity. It's first and 10 at the 12-yard line. We're going to back the pass. He's throwing to play great defense right there. Great defense. The pass is incomplete. Paul, Let's check that there's flag. another flag down in the backfield. See what they're going to call here. They're going to call a personal foul. Chop block. Yeah, yeah, personal rough foul the call. Roughing the passer. Oh, roughing the passer. Excuse me. Um, I didn't see him hit him at all. But, um, but I was watching the pass in the end zone. It's great defense in the end zone to break that pass up. And it's going to uh, be, I believe, half the distance to the goal. And it's going to be first and goal for Bullock Gators. We've got a timeout called by Trinity Christian School with seven. Yeah, timeout call on the field. 20 again. left. We're Charles here at Cleve Warnick Field. We'll half. be back right with you in just a few minutes. At Morris Bank, we understand that your personal finances and banking experiences can be stressful. We also know that it doesn't have to be that way. That's why for over 60 years, we've dedicated ourselves to providing common sense banking to people just like you. We work hard to combine the latest online mobile technology and top-notch customer service that allows us to do just that. We realize our customers have choices, but what sets us apart is the personal service that we provide that they may not receive at larger institutions. We like to make you feel at home and we like to make the process as easy as possible when you're banking with us. But we're not focused on helping just our customers. We are equally dedicated to supporting the community we are a part of. Just this year alone, we've logged thousands of community service hours and provided significant financial support to the communities we serve. We want to make sure you have the best banking experience possible. Come see us or give us a call to find out what makes Morris Bank different because we're banking on you. Welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field, 720 left in the second quarter, right? Coming out of a timeout. We want to just thank some of our sponsors here, the Houston Clinic, Dr. Richter and Dr. Gay. Also, Roach and Dublin Nissan and Dublin Chevrolet. And stay tuned after the game for our TV35 Player of the Week this week. And also want to just remind you to watch the Trinity Coaches Show with Coach Jimmy Fields every week on TV35. We have first and goal. Quarterback rolls out to the left, throws right across the middle to the tight end, and looks like he's in the end zone with a touchdown. I believe, I believe that was a touchdown there, and they're going to hear, come here. That pass the point for another bullet touchdown. On the tip of the extra point, number 49, 49 bullet right Hutchins. now going for the extra point. We're seven minutes and 11 seconds from halftime. Time will be on the hold. Also, again, want to mention to you the city of Dublin natural gas starts saving today with natural gas. It's half the price of electricity. The extra point is up, and it is good. It's 41 to nothing Bullock Academy with the 7-11 remaining in the second quarter.
When it's time to buy or sell your home, it's time to put the winning team of Century 21 to work for you, including Penny Helton, Beverly Forbes, Brian Howell, Charlene Lamb, David Deeves, Dalton Lamb, Jay Brantley, Jennifer Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Raina Doberly, Ruth Watson, Sarah Kobe, Charlene Brantley, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden. Put the winning team to work for you. Century 21, Durden Cornegay. And you're sure to score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com. Call 272-1535 or come see us at 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Century 21, Durden Cornegay, the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County. All right, well, welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field. 7-11 uh, left till halftime. Bullock Academy kicking off to the Trinity Christian School Crusaders. Trying to get something going here before halftime. Try to get a win before you go in uh, on this drive. Deep kickoff's going to be fielded. He's up the middle, got a little lane. He's up the middle. If he can break, he's got one guy left. To be breaks him. Looks like the kicker's gonna drive him down to the ground. Wade Walker with an incredible run all the way to the 50 yard line. No flags. Feel like every play over the last 10 or 15 plays had a flag. No flag there. Man, he had a great run, coach, all the way to midfield. Yeah, good block and hit. He hit the middle in there hard, fast, and found the seam and hit it. Now, thought he had a chance to break it there for a second. Wade's another young man I've had the opportunity to, to teach and coach and uh, uh, works hard and uh, gives you all he has there. And so we have first and 10 at the 50. This is some positive stuff happening right now here with 6.58 left at midfield. First and 10, let's try to get us a score here before halftime. Deep drop back, he's looking for a guy. He's, he's in trouble here in the backfield. Scrambles to the right. And it looks like he's just going to try to throw it away. So uh, Jim got into some trouble Holmes there instead of taking a sack. Very wisely complete. threw it away. Tried to get into Mitchell Gay, his speedy receiver, and just just uh, had to throw it out of bounds. So, Coach, uh, uh, basketball, wrestling, all that stuff's on the way. Swimming. Am I missing any any fall sports? I mean, any winter sports? I think that's all the winter. We and, just got uh, through with the softball, and then the. And I know me and you are baseball and softball yeah. guys, but it's our, our basketball team was certainly fun to watch last year as oh, well. No, they are. They they've been very. They get up and down the court, and they been, it's been fun to watch them. Got a big hole up the middle on first down. Ends up getting about six yards on the play. Yeah, I enjoyed watching that crew last year. David's My son, Colby's in the seventh grade, and uh, well, he dragged me to every game he could get me to to watch them boys. And they were fun to watch. Coach Paul Williams has them playing. Uh, man, I've watched them practice a few times, and that's why they're, 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 they have really, um, well, they practice their tails off. And uh, it's fun to watch them practice, uh, but it's also fun to watch them play. Yeah, they get up and down the court, and that's what you want. Know, that's what people want to see. They're moving their up. Like Third down play pace. there. Stood up at the line. It's going to be fourth down. Four progress. Yeah, they get up and down the field, and um, I tell you, as a coach, if you can get them to buy into practice, uh, then it's going to help in our games. And he had them buying into practice there, and I've watched, like I said, a few times their practices, and man, they've done well. Also want to point out, looks like we're going to punt the ball here with 544 left. I just want to point out, um, you know, our school, if you're watching this locally, a lot of you may not know about Trinity Christian School, just a great Christian environment. We got a fake punt. He runs it right up the middle. He's close to the first down. I don't, he's going to be, look like he's going to be about a yard short. Um, great, great setup there. Looked like he had some space. Drug down right. He snapped directly to number 11, Davis Maffitt. Right to Davis Maffitt. Thought he had it, and he's going to be. He's going to run to the right. It'll be just short of a first down. going to be a little short, and it's going to be first down bullet at about the 41 yard line. Yeah, I like the call. Trying to make something first happen. First down and 10 there. for bullet. Call. Yeah, you can't wait for the coaches line. there trying no. to do something to motivate these guys, get these guys going, and uh, about four inches short there. 
So it's gonna be first day on the 10, Bullock Academy. We're uh, about five minutes and 28 seconds before halftime in the homecoming festivities there. Looks like they got a few younger guys in from Bullock Academy. Oh, Hit him on. in the backfield okay, and missed him. Missed, made two guys miss. Ends up getting back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard or two more. Number 24, Garrison Lee on the but Coach, carry. Yeah, if you, if you haven't, uh, you know, these, these people watching this, if they haven't heard about Trinity Christian School or they're not sure, uh, just a great environment, great upper opportunity to, to be in a small classroom environment, Christian environment. Um, family well, atmosphere. My Miller and uh, like I said, I had uh, the opportunity to work 13 years here. Uh, now I'm working in missions here in our community. Um, and, and if, if, you're, if you'd love to be a part of this family, I know uh, Trinity Christian School, um, Mr. Stan Cooey would love, love to talk with you about I'll coming out and being a part of the Trinity family. It's, it's a great school, and my wife graduated from here, and it prepared her well for college and her career. And both my daughters at Georgia has prepared them, and uh, so it, it's a great opportunity. Like I say, it's, it's close, smaller, but it's family oriented. Everybody's so close, and like family. Yeah, and, and everybody knows everybody, and um, it's a it's a great family atmosphere, um, great teaching environment as well. And, um, and of course my heart, and I know your heart is, they get to hear the Bible every day taught in the classroom. Um, we got a second down and about 12. They got him running in the backfield. Great defensive play to break up the pass. Pass um, intended number 21, Case Murphy. Well, it might've been Ben Butler great, maybe. Great back, uh, yeah, great uh, break up of that pass right there. It's defended by number 11, Davis Maffitt. Davis making a great uh, jump to that ball. Third down for Bullock. Almost could have had a shot right there at intercepting that ball, but just did what he was supposed to do, knock it down. We got a third down right here. Great, great momentum right here for our defense. Need this stop. But yeah, just like we were talking about, great environment if you're looking around right here, right now. The alumni love coming back. We see them here um, and excited to, to be a part of this. We got a timeout on the field taken by Bullock timeout Academy. On the field. Four minutes taken and seven Bullock. seconds left. Bullock 42, Trinity nothing. We'll be right back at Cleve Warnick Field here at Trinity Christian School. Since being elected sheriff in 2016, I've worked hard on the war on drugs. We've made over 453 drug arrests and I've increased our drug unit here at the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office from three agents to six. We work closely with the DEA and other law enforcement agencies to take these drugs off the streets. I'm proud of these officers, and we will continue to work hard to rid Lawrence County of the drugs. I'm Larry Dean, and I approve this message. Mid-State Pools and Spas knows pools, in-ground pools to above-ground pools. Mid-State Pools and Spas has over 35 years in the industry, building over 3,000 pools. We build all of our own pools, never subcontracting the work out. So if you're ready to build a pool, renovate a pool, or if you need weekly maintenance or liner replacement with a full 20-year warranty, call the professionals at Mid-State Pools and Spas. Visit our showroom today at 2273 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin and see the new line of Marquee Spas. For the ultimate in hot tub experiences, choose Marquee Spas. Also see our new selection of casual patio furniture, available now at our showroom, Mid-State Pools and Spas, where we know pools. Daughters, Welcome please, back again to Trinity Christian School, 4.07 left in the second quarter before halftime, before our half, uh, homecoming festivities tonight, stick around for that. We got a third and 13, great momentum right now for this Trinity defense. If they can hold them right here before halftime. Little option left out, quarterback's gonna keep it, and they've got him down about five yards short. Number 12, it's gonna be fourth and five. And it looks like we're gonna Davis send out the punting unit. And Mitchell Gay. About fourth and, fourth, down fourth and four. They're, they are gonna punt it right here with 347 left. 
believe David Coleman is, is back to receive the ball. What you want to do right here, Coach, is just make sure you secure that ball and, um, and try not to turn it over right here right before yeah. halftime. Looks like Bullock was a player short. They run him on. Clock's still running, about 325 left before halftime. Gets the punt off, and everybody's going to stay get away. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, it hits him. It, get out of the it way. It hits him, and I believe it hits him, and uh, looks like Bullock recovers the fumble, and Bullock is going to have the ball at the 15 yard line. With three minutes and 12 seconds left. Just what we said, Coach, don't get near that ball. Have something positive. Recover that ball and take over. And uh, down and 10. it took a Deep weird bounce and point. just barely hit his face mask. Popped right up in his face. And, um, and Bullock jumped on it. So we have first and 10, Bullock Academy at the 15-yard line. And man, I feel right when that, that defense gets a hold and get, gets off the field, they got to trot back out there. And it's tough sometimes. You make a good stand and then think you're done and have to turn around and go go back out there. It's tough, but you know, like it coaches is. have got them up, so hopefully they'll, they'll come up and get a good stand right here. Yep. So here we go. Going to try to have another stand right here with about 312 left before halftime. Coach, the field looks good, the facilities look good. I know it was about, I can't remember the exact time, but about five years ago they re, oh, there's a fumble, fumble on the play. It looks like well, Trinity may have, may have it, it back. back. We may have got it back on that. There was a miss we snap on the there. Play. Trinity, by the Crusaders. Trinity's got it, yeah. and there's still, there's a little scrum going on. Uh, just just no, nothing uh, negative there. Ben Butler just, that up off the turf. I don't think Ben Butler was gonna let that ball <laughs> go for his life, no, he and I it. can't blame him. But there's a great break right there for Trinity. It was fumbled on the snap and uh, Ben Butler jumped right on it. I believe it was Ben Butler. And so it's gonna be first and 10, Trinity Christian School on the 13 yard line. Three minutes left exactly on the clock. We need to get, get some momentum, get, get a little, some positive plays here, get a little momentum going into halftime. There's that little bubble screen they've gotten some help in. He makes the first guy miss. And gets about ends up getting about three yards Screen on the play. Pass the flat to number 25, Mitchell Gay. So, Coach, uh, we're I believe the World Series is going on right now. Uh, it's been, been kind of interesting to watch with with Two no and fans and now just a little bit of fans. But uh, second down most most State. playoff teams in Major League history. It's been kind of weird, but kind of interesting. It is. It's, it's totally like like 2020. It seems like it's been. Everything has been a little different. The norm is it's not been a norm and. Drop back to pass, gets a guy out in the oh, flat. Good job. Good job, pick. Oh, come on now. Let's get Pass complete to number 19, yards. Chandler Asbell. Got about 12 yards there to Chandler Asbell. He's a great target to throw, up for Trinity first throw to. He made uh, made the catch and then made a guy miss. And I believe he got out of bounds. 221 left. And uh, get a couple first downs here. You never know. Grab some momentum going into halftime. Yeah, the Braves made a great little run at it, and, uh, and it's heartbreaking there. Well, you know, uh, everybody's pulling for them Braves. Great pass over the middle. Oh, yeah. uh, barely. Pass intended for Asbel, falls incomplete. Great try right there by yeah, Asbel, great pass. For Trinity. Uh, just off his hands, almost intercepted, but uh, we have an incomplete pass with 2.13 left. Uh, yeah, you know, as a coach, you look at some of the what ifs right there for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, I think two big critical base running errors there in those last two games that I know me and you probably probably try to dissect and figure out what in the world are we Why? doing? What are you doing? You know, and it is, and it it happens on every level. But and also you talk about off up the middle. having plenty of arms, and the you know, I think that showed we too. Know, the play, bring up third down especially when they didn't have days off, they had you know you had to have the arms, had to. quality arms. So we had third down and 10, minute 48 left before halftime. Need another big play right here. He's thrown the ball pretty well tonight when he's had the opportunity back in the pocket. Pockets collapsing there, trying to get rid of it. An incomplete pass around the 40 yard line. 
Man, he made Pass a... Pass intended for number 14, Trey Miller, broken up by number two, Rodney Hill. Tried to get the ball to Trey Miller, Rodney, Rodney Hill. Fourth down and 10 for from the Bullock Crusaders. Academy. I didn't think had a shot at intercepting that ball, and he he closed that gap and almost intercepted it there. Luckily, we, we he missed that ball. Minute 30 left, we're gonna punt this ball, try to get it off and bleed this clock out to get to halftime. And Jim's been doing a good job extending the play. They've been getting a lot of pressure on him, but he's been able to extend the play some. And, and try to make something happen. We got a fair catch right at the 50 yard line, maybe 49 and a half yard fair line. Fair catch called for by number 13, Carter Snipes. A minute 25 left. We're going to take, take a quick break. They're on the 49 right back yard line. I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater. Or $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on the natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity. And half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today. And call the fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team at City of Dublin Natural Gas. Football season is here and Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus would like to wish all of our area teams the best of luck. Go Irish, go Falcons, go Crusaders, go Raiders. Best of luck this season from Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus, where you'll find old diamond jewelry marked half off right now. And you can also save on 10 and 14 karat gold bracelets, chains and rings. Randolph's will size and repair any jewelry and offers confidential loans on gold and silver. Randolph's Jewelry Repair Plus, wishing all our area teams the best of luck this football season. See Randolph's today at 304 Pine Forest Street in Dublin or call 275-0427. Welcome back, a minute 25 left. We're here at Cleve Warnick Field on a beautiful Friday night and uh, at our homecoming festivities 2020 here with Coach Gary Sanders. He's working together, doing this second quarter for you. 50 yard line, first and 10 Bullock Academy. They're up 42 to nothing right now. Little option oh, left. He's on. caught in the backfield by right two there. Crusaders. Number 12, Willie brought down the backfield. Curry, Great yeah, play no, right Zach there. White. Zach White making the play. And who was the other? Kyle it's Curry. Kyle Curry, two high motor guys. Um, uh, both of those brought guys. Brought down by Zach White um, and Kyle Curry. Play baseball, have played baseball oh. for both of us. Yes. And uh, strong, strong guys and high motor guys. They all that now. They all they're wide open, and uh, you know they they come on Zach. Zach's made, had pressure on the quarterback several times. He was under control a little bit at that time and able to make a play. I tell you, this defense uh, score. Uh, we have a fumble on the play again. Looks like they received it back. I will say this: the the scoreboard the says 42 to nothing. But I will plan. say this defense has played hard. And they've had some opportunities um, in the backfield. Procedure call against Bullock, and, uh, back them up five yards. And they've played really hard tonight. And um, bring up a second down. Trying and to get us to halftime so we can get some momentum there in, in, in the locker room and try to come out and win the second half. Well, they have played played extremely hard in defense. They've been under, been on the field an awful lot. That's right. We have we have third down and about 15, 16 yards to go. Handoff up to middle. Gets mixed, misses the first wave, second wave we stop him. It's going to be fourth in about Number two yards. Number Harrison on the carry. Looks like he's a little banged up on that play right there. Number 20. Brought down by Carson Martin and Mitchell McDaniel. Harrison, Harrison, and I tell you, he is a guy who has been everywhere tonight. And looks like he is having a... I think they're going to get a timeout to get him half. off the field. 
Cam Harrison. Cam is heat tomorrow. We're running back. It's like to he's a little dinged up. The queen. That's the end of the quarter. It's, we're at halftime here at Cleve Warnick Field. Well, they say. Wait a second. They may bring it back. With Quinn being hurt, they stopped the clock because he didn't get off the field. Yeah, they may put a little. Oh, they called a timeout. Is what they're saying. Bullock Academy. The timeout called by Bullock. Um, I don't know how much time they're going to put back on the clock. Maybe four seconds here. I tell you what, it looks like they're saying up here they're going to bring the kicker out. At least he's acting like he's going to kick the ball. And I, I don't know how long that would be, Coach Sanders. Roughly that, 60 yards. That's about a 60. If he attempts that right there, that's a 60-yard field goal. I, I, I don't know what they're going to do here, but that would be uh, impressive for a high school kid to make a 60 or even attempt yeah. a 60 yard field well, goal. I guarantee you, they must have confidence in his leg. That, or maybe, maybe feel like they need to work on it, you know, just in case. Yeah, yeah, probably working on some things. And I tell you this, this is a good opportunity for a block because in a, a field goal this long, um, they're going to try to drive it rather than get it up in the yeah, air. You got to kick it low. So great opportunity for a block. I, I will say this, remember the old Alabama Auburn situation a few yeah. years ago. So we do got a guy back to maybe take they this moved. to the house. Kick is up and he's gonna miss it. But he hit that thing probably Go, 50 yards. Falls just short. Uh, now it falls just half. short. short 42, so we're at halftime, Bullock 42, Trinity zero. If you're going to hang with us after the break, we're going to be right back with our homecoming 2020 festivities. So thank you for being with us in the first half at Cleve Warnick Field. Hey, I'm Tasha Rowland, and everyone here at the Cloverleaf Restaurant would like to invite you to come try our country-style all-you-can-eat buffet. We hold ourselves to the highest standards of safety and quality and the food we prepare for you. We clean our facilities constantly, and we offer curbside service. Just call 478-275-2080, and we will have your order ready right away. And Friday is our seafood day. You deserve a great meal. Cloverleaf Caters, call us for your next gathering or event. So treat yourself to the Cloverleaf Restaurant and make sure you're satisfied. We open Sunday through Fridays 11 to 2 with plenty of dining or we can get it ready to go for you. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future. That's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. I'm Kelly Kennedy. I've been a board member with Stepping Stone for over 20 years. Stepping Stone is a child-friendly facility where children can come and talk with professionals about something that's going on in their life that they're very uncomfortable discussing with other people, primarily child abuse maltreatment. Stepping Stone provides a child-friendly environment where a child can meet with a professional to talk about the abuse that's happening in their life. Recently we've been able to expand our services to become certified as an adult sexual assault center so now we can uh, have medical exams and do interviews with adults that have uh, been uh, assaulted sexually. So if you have any questions about our services we can provide just call our crisis line. Welcome back everybody to Cleve Warnick Field on this Friday night homecoming festivities. We just finished up our halftime and um, as many of you just saw, Miss Emma Kate Williams was our homecoming queen 2020, so congratulations to her. I know that's an exciting time. Congratulations to everybody that was on the court. We're here tonight with uh, Dr. Kelly Toller, Coach Kelly Toller. Um, thankful to have him with us tonight. Uh, and that there's the kickoff the to start the half. It's going to be a touchback, and, and they'll start at the 20-yard line at 20. the first and 10. Uh, Dr. Toller, thank you for being with us tonight. Uh, this is new for me. I know new for you. Um, you just finished up cross-country. All the hats you wear, one of them is uh, our cro cross-country coach, and you've done a tremendous job 
taking over that role um, as we start this second half. We're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, Coleman behind center. We have first. We have uh, offsides right there to start the half. Coach, tell me a little bit about how your season ended. Y'all just went through region championships. Right, how did that go for you? Uh, region went well. Uh, our boys team won yeah, the uh, region champions and uh, ran a, a great 15. day. Uh, they all ran ahead of themselves. Uh, we took first place, second place, fifth, sixth, and seventh for my scoring side of the team. So we scored almost perfect with the guys. Uh, our girls held a great day. They all performed well. Uh, I got one all-region runner on the girls' side, and uh, we're just you know, prepping to get ready for state. Left end. Great, great run right there by Amen. Coleman on the option play. He kept it around the left side, and uh, he got all five of those back, plus about four more. Well, Coach, uh, like I said earlier, great region championship for you guys. I know you got an older team, wise team. They play, they've run second really, really well. For the Crusaders. Got second down here at about five or six yards. Coleman behind center, under center here. Handoff to the right side up the middle. Great push, going to get the first down after about six or seven yards. So, Coach, you got State coming up in just a few minutes. 44, weeks. Ben Butler um, on the carry of the middle. Tell us where now that is up for and uh, first how down. you feel about it. Uh, it'll be held in Macon at the Middle Georgia State uh, Macon campus. Uh, and, you know, feeling good about the, the guys. If they run uh, to the level they did at Region, we, we've got a great shot at a, at a good top, top spot up there. Uh, they're all performing well. Everybody's healthy for the most part. That's good. We, we uh, you know, have had a great um, run on our cross country and track programs over the years. There's a long pass. Coleman threw that ball. Coleman's pass. Probably 35 yards Chandler right there, 40 yards incomplete. in the air, incomplete, uh, double covered there. Now we're Chandler second Asbel. down and 10 for Trinity. It's going to be second and 10. But uh, as I was saying, Coach, you, had a, you, you guys have had a great run cross country. We've had some, some runners go to the next level. Uh, had an opportunity to, to, to teach some of those young men and, and those ladies. Got some competing now around uh, Georgia. But it's exciting to be a part of a winning program over and over, isn't it? It is. It's been great. We have some great quality Davis kids. And you're right, we've got some still, still currently competing here in Georgia, uh, one in Arkansas. And uh, just looking forward to a few others that have the potential to go on to the next level as well. That's wonderful, and as we saw We're there, second down, down on, the almost Crusaders. no gain there. It's going to be third down and 10. Crusaders coming out of halftime trying to get something going, want to get some momentum. He's back to pass, got a clean pocket, got a wide open. He get, makes the first guy miss, and it looks like he's got a first down. Pass completely number 19, Chandler Asbell. Chandler Asbell made a great move after the initial contact. I'll be the 11 first yard down. gain. I'll be enough for another turning first down. So, Coach, we were talking just because we had some great runners in the past, and I know uh, teaching at Trinity for 13 years, I know always hear from coaches uh, in our cross country, we need we need runners, we need young runners, because that's really where it all begins. You, you want to you wanna get those runners uh, early, like sixth grade, and you really want them to develop because you guys on have a great line. training program. And what I've Trinity. seen over the years, if you've seen these kids come in in the sixth grade, and by the time they're 11th and 12th grade, uh, they're champions. And oh, yeah. so, so tell us a little bit about, about needing players to come through the program and, and what you've seen there. You know, we're always looking for, for runners. Moving and on I, both I sides of the ball. Parents and, you know, we don't need everybody running at the front of the pack. The I want all kinds of kids to come out running. It's just exciting to watch them enjoy something and keep doing it. And uh, so, but trying to get these runners in early, get them in good habits, that's the biggest deal. And uh, just teach them the sport itself and just watch them grow and expand and, and get faster and stronger. That's good. So we had an offside penalty on the defense. That moves us up five yards, yards, first and five. It's a handoff, fake handoff at the middle. Coleman around the side. Ooh. Ended up getting. Number four, Coleman on the keeper around left about end. Four yards, going to be second down and one. Yeah, and as a coach in any sport, you want to get them young and you want them to be a nine yard uh, game play. Bring them the way second down and one for the Crusaders. Them. And uh, like I said, you've had some great athletes. And one thing, if you've never tried running before, um, you may never know you like it until you try it. So right. I always try to tell kids, hey, if you don't know if you like it, go out and give it a shot. Uh, we have a fake handoff there. Coleman's got a clean pocket. It's got a guy wide open in the middle and hits him in stride. 
That's completed number 14, Trey Miller. He throws the ball for about 15 yards I'll there to the Trey Miller. Down to the bullet, 37 yard line. Trey Miller is one Miller, of those tall athletes down. we have. Great young yeah. man. Uh, had the opportunity to coach him in the, in the game of baseball over the years. So Trinity's coming out, making a great uh, drive here, this first drive outside of halftime. 9.27 left. we got a handoff around the corner. He's got some room. Breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. He's down to about the eight-yard line. Mitchell Gay. Great run by Mitchell Gay. To the bullet. Seven-yard line. So, Coach, I tell you, um, state tournament, you said it's going to be where at this yeah. year? It'll be in Macon. Right down the, by uh, Middle Henry Georgia Jackson and Macon Harrison campus. Hens. Okay. Uh, in, in between there and uh, Mount DeSales, uh, they have a course set up up there. Beautiful place. Lo love your support uh, to no, come no. out. If you're interested about what's going on at Trinity campus, you can go on our website. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, I think Twitter as well. Um, ladies in the office do a great job of keeping that up. Yes, they do. Um, we have a little option to the right. He keeps it. I think he's going to get um, Coleman around and right in. Maybe picked up a yard or two there on the on the on the call. So uh, one of your other roles here is uh, you're you're um, what's what's the best way to say this? You you are the leader of our board of directors. Is that the best way to sure to I'm say the, that? Yeah, the chairman, um, current chairman. The chairman. Yeah. That's right. Chairman and of the board. and uh, yeah. I really appreciate that as oh, a parent. You. Um, and also as a, I, you know, I taught here for 13 years, coached here. Yeah, we appreciate that's a, you. That's one of those jobs that uh, you don't get a lot of glory for, but uh, but we appreciate uh, you uh, being in that position. Oh, thank you. We know you love the Lord, and that's and that's uh, so evident. Uh, but but you know, uh, around the world, around the country, you know, when COVID hit, um, a lot of. Uh, private Christian schools Passing around the country 10, had walking, to shut the doors, the and uh, we're just so thankful third down and goal that Trinity was able line. to, Let's to get up still for the top be end. here, and not only just still be here, but thriving. Correct, right. We we had to be here to be viable. We had to be in person. Uh, you know, if we could be here five days a week, hey, praise the Lord. If we could only be here four, praise the Lord. Uh, but we were excited to be able to be here in person uh, for these kids uh, because I think that's what it takes on the education side. Absolutely. Third and five. He's going to make a run. He's going for the corner. Touchdown, Trinity Christian touchdown. School. Jim Coleman around the left Jim end. Jim Coleman around the left He'll end for the touchdown. touchdown. Exciting drive coming out of halftime. Uh, I know as a coach for many years, when you go into a halftime situation and you're down 42 to nothing, you just talk about winning the next half. Yeah, that's right. And so right now, Trinity Christian School's winning yeah, the winning. second half. And uh, going for two right here. Great, great play, great setup two right there. Good on a pass from two point conversion Asbel. good. And the seven picture remaining in the third Jim quarter. Jim Coleman and Chandler Asbill. Turn the eight. All right, so we have a Roach Farm and Garden replay, our first of the night, and uh, just had Jim Coleman, our quarterback, lead us on an amazing drive on around the left side, in for the touchdown. And so that's a Roach Farm and Garden replay of the day. So Cleve Warnick Field here on a beautiful Friday night, 42 to eight, Trinity coming out of the gates, uh, firing on all cylinders. We're gonna take a break and we'll be back with you in just a second. I'm Marshall Floyd, and I want to be Lawrence County's next sheriff. Since my opponent took office in 2017, his promises have not been kept. He promised to be a good steward of our tax dollars, However, he has increased the Sheriff's Office budget by over $1 million. He promised to promote from within. Instead, six of his campaign supporters were hired, given administrative positions, some with salaries twice that of a new employee. He promised to lower the employee turnover rate. Instead, he's had to fill over 100 employee vacancies. The loss of the experience, training, and education of these employees is an investment the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office cannot continue to lose. Empty political promises have not gotten the job done. Lawrence County citizens, you deserve better. Vote for integrity. Vote for professionalism. Vote for experience. Vote for progress. Vote to make a difference. Vote for Marshall Floyd, Lawrence County Sheriff. I'm Marshall Floyd, and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Tracy Middlebrooks. I'm with Muddy Paws Dublin. We are a boarding, grooming, daycare, and training facility. 
Our facility is a group play area. Our dogs get six to eight hours playtime every day. So when your dog comes to stay with us, they're not just sitting in a kennel. We have indoor facilities as well as outdoor facilities. We do separate dogs according to size and temperament. All of our kennels are indoors, so when your dog stays with us, they are sleeping indoors in a climate-controlled environment. When it's too hot or too cold outside, this is one of the areas the dogs can come to get playtime. That way they're not just sitting in a kennel. Uh, if need be, we can rotate dogs between outside and inside. So if your dog is only used to the inside and the only goes outside to potty, we can accommodate that. Uh, we have a full service grooming salon six days a week. We also offer training. I am a certified professional dog trainer. I can do everything from basic obedience up to canine good citizens tests. So if you have any questions, feel free to call. Um, most of the training is done here on site. We have boarding also as well as daycare. Boarding starts at 27 a night. Uh, we do give a multiple dog discount as well as military discounts. We like to say that a tired dog is a happy dog. When your dog comes to stay with us, we look at that as them getting a vacation. So welcome back, Cleve Warning Field, Trinity Christian School at the Cleve. Um, Let's here hear with Dr. Our Toler. Uh, what a great drive coming out of halftime as Jim Coleman takes it in for the first score of the night for Trinity Christian School. Trinity about to kick it off, and here with Dr. Toler, we just were talking about um, the school and the opportunity onside kick here. Looks like Trinity's got a chance to have the ball right here. Everybody's on it. It looks like Trinity Christian School's got the onside oh, kick. Great. What a great momentum a great right here coming out of halftime. They are excited. Excited, pumped up. That's a great job of coaching right there to have these guys ready to kick. play coming out of that okay, halftime. First down and 10 you can go one or two 45. ways coming out of a halftime like that. You can, um, you can have guys kind of lay down or you can have guys fight. And these coaches have these guys fighting right now. So we have first and 10. At the 45-yard line, Trinity come out of halftime all the way down the field on a great scoring drive, and now they have the ball back. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Got a sweep going right. There's a fumble in the play. He picks the ball up. Trying to get back as much as he could. It's going to end up losing about 12 yards. At least we got covered that yeah. ball back up. Yeah, the ball. So we were talking earlier um, just thankful that Trinity's open in, in the private school, um, Christian school industry. When you when uh, you don't get public funding, it's difficult. When you, you know, obviously nobody in our lifetimes dealt with a crisis like we've dealt with the pandemic. And a lot, I know a lot of prayers around the country, around the world for our Christian schools. Just thankful we're here. Um, and uh, you know, I taught here for 13 years, and God called me away to do missions here in our own community. Right. But uh, Man, I prayed hard for our school during this time that, uh, that we would be back. There's a pass on the right side. Barely overthrows yes, him there. Man. Great great arm on mm -hmm. the sophomore quarterback. Pass intended for number 25, uh, but yeah, Gary. It, Ball it, falls it's just been a lot of prayer. I, mean, and I know you guys and our teachers, not only here at Trinity, but around our, our, our community and right. our public school system, they have had to go way beyond the extra mile to do all the little things to have a great teaching environment. And, um, you know, I have four kids here right. now, and um, all I hear is just how, how awesome our teachers are and what they're doing, so very I, thankful for that. I will agree, we, we have a great faculty and staff here, and, it, and it's been a blessing just to see how well it has, has been able to be uh, on a daily basis. We've got a third down attempt. What a throw, mm. great throw right there. Overthrows him just a little bit, but man, Jim Coleman's got an arm on him. Pass and tender number 10, Wade Walker. Ball threw that, threw that ball about 35 down. yards in the air over his head. They're going to punt it away here. But yeah, we, we have a great faculty, we have a great staff, and um, at a small environment, what you realize, and, and I, you know, I've, I did Christian education for 17 years all together. And basically what happens is when you come to teach or coach at a Christian school, you do everything. You have to coach multiple sports. You have to teach multiple things. And it's a calling. Uh, it's a God thing. Great punt by Jim Coleman. It's going to be down about the 11-yard line. We're going to take a Trinity mount and be down at the bullet. We're going to take a quick timeout here at 6.08 left 10. in the third quarter. Bullet 42, Trinity 8. We'll be right back with you. Hi, 
I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Orange County. When we began looking for a location for our second Dublin banking office, the historic Henry Building looked like the perfect spot because Dublin and Lawrence County is our focus and making banking easier and more convenient for our customers is our goal. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. A local full service community bank offering quality banking services. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, now open in downtown Dublin. Friendly Gus has everything you need this football season. From our everyday value items like a fish, pork chop, three-piece dark, or two-piece white meat snack for just $5.50. Friendly Gus caters. Order one of our 20, 40, or 60-piece chicken finger or wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Friendly Gus is your one-stop shop for tailgating parties. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus with locations throughout Middle Georgia. Shop Cocker Mother's Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson Street for additional tailgate items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. So welcome back to Cleve Warnock Field. Coming out of halftime, Trinity Christian School has been on fire, coming down on their first drive. Uh, just punting it away, great punt down, and Bullock's gonna take over about the 11 yard line. First and 10 at the 11. Let's see if our defense can come back out, get a great stop and get the offense back on the field. First down, handoff up the middle for about four or five yards. It's gonna be second down. So Dr. Toller, um, as we talked about, a lot of different things going on. Um, you know, I, I don't think when we started this year, maybe maybe we right didn't in the back of our minds think we'd ever get to homecoming yeah. and homecoming festivities because we just didn't know what was going to happen with COVID-19. But Trinity uh, has done an incredible job with their COVID-19 protocol. I'm seeing it from a parent standpoint now. And uh, I, I tell you, it's been incredible. It, it really has. And um, you know, it, it's it's something that's hard. It's it's uh, there's a handoff up the middle on second down. Gets about seven yards for the first down. Gonna be first and ten at around the 23 yard line. But uh, when you're dealing with carry. something nobody's ever had to deal with, and you're trying to run a school and coach teams and teach people, um, it can be a bit overwhelming. Sure, and, and you know we just we had to go into this uh, with it, multiple game plans and just everything that could happen what next and then if this happens what next so we just had multi layers set up already and you know f thankfully we're still on our first layer of, of what we're doing uh, we have not hit some tipping point of uh, having to move to a, a hybrid model uh, we are still daily in person and it's been a blessing to be able to do that um, parents have been excited about it. The kids have enjoyed some sense of normalcy. Mitchell Gay, Ben Butler. That's right. We had Summer. second down, uh, first down run right there. Got about two yards on the play. Great uh, hit on the on the field. Great play by our defense. Playing great uh, defense right here, starting this second half. I'll bring up second but yeah, down. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's Gator. difficult. You had to have all kinds of different models going in, and um, our teachers have done an incredible job. Uh, the training there to get them to to really. Um, uh, focus on distance learning too if we needed that right. and all that stuff y'all just y'all just done well um, had a second down run a uh, little it was like a bulldog there running that ball ended up getting about four or five yards going to be third and about two 31 yard line um, but but yeah just a just a great uh, way to roll things out and of course we never know what's going to happen in the next couple months but We've seen we've seen it go very well, Luke Bailey also and I tell you, I was a teacher last year here when all of it hit. Uh, Mr. Cooey did a wonderful job. Uh, mm -hmm. Our teachers, you know, it was all new to us trying to do online learning, and not only for us but for our kids, kids too, and not sure. only for our parents. But I will say this: um, we had great parent response, we had great kid response, and we had great administrative response. First down run, our third down run off to the right side makes a pretty good run about. 20 yard run to Sullivan on the, the 40, Off 44 yard line there. Down my seven um, Crusaders. Pretty good run by Bullock. Opened up a big hole there. Going to be first and 10 um, on the 40, on the 44 yard line. But yeah, we're, we're excited about where Trinity's going. Um, you know, we had so many, we've seen so many um, Christian schools around the country dealing with the financial situations that COVID brought. But uh, our parents, our families have hung in there, and um, and I'm and I'm telling you, 
um, it's it's been really good. Yeah, we you know the, the last few years we've been blessed. Just to, we haven't had to overspend on a lot of things. So we actually just got set up wonderfully going into this to have a little bit of a buffer. Well, so that was a blessing uh, that change, has carried us. Line. Um, you know, we just we've been blessed all the way around. I, I'm you know we're praying for longevity this year and, and stay here as long as we can. Excellent. So we got a first down and 10, 44 yard line. Got a handoff up the middle, hit. Gonna get about two yards on the play. So we have um, a uh, little different year like we've been talking about, but we have our, our winter season's about to kick off. We have swimming coming up. Um, we have uh, wrestling coming up. We have basketball coming up. I think that's all the, all the winter sports. and. I tell you, for a school our size, I love our swimming program. Yeah. You know, we don't get a lot of airplay on swimming, That's but uh, you know, West Garen, I believe, started that program, right. and uh, really took us to just great heights there. And they're going to be uh, new coaches at the helm this year, uh, and excited about the swimming program at Trinity Christian School. Yeah. Up the middle, uh, going to stop them again. Gets about it's about a yard on the play. Ben Becker again up the middle. Third down, about six yards. Um, Short game on the play. And I know you've had some experience with a little bit with that swimming Third program. Third down seven yeah. for yeah. Um, defense. And like I said, you typically don't find a school our size with, with a nice swimming team. program. That's right. That's and right. I think, if I remember correctly, last year, probably our greatest success in the swimming program history yeah. as far yeah. as yeah. results goes last year. Yes. Yeah. It was a good season. It was a little short, but uh, it, it went well. That's right. And. Uh, we just we keep growing, and that's the biggest thing. We keep getting younger and younger uh, swimmers in. They give it a try, and they enjoy it. Third down play ran right up the middle. He's going to end up getting 24. Garrison Lee on the carry. Right on the line to gain. This looks like they're going to probably no. They're going to respawn we'll that ball. Get the ball down to the Trinity 38 yard line. It'll be and, enough for a bullet first down. And uh, they haven't moved the change yet. They're waiting to see here. Um, yep, they're going to give them the first down, so it's going to be a bullet first down at the 33-yard line. But yeah, it was great to see our numbers every year have grown in that swimming program. I think I'm, I'm thinking last year we had in, our, in the 30s, 30s or 40s in that. Yeah, in yeah, that, yeah um, upper 30s, yeah. And, and we're really blessed um, to, to to partner with uh, with uh, uh, Fairview Fitness, Fairview Park. Fitness mm -hmm. Club. They allow us to. Uh, to be a part of their, uh, use their pool, and that's how we do our training here at Trinity. So very, very blessed. First down run, doesn't get any yards, maybe well, lost a half yard. On the carry around left end. We'll be second down and 10. But yeah, very thankful for that part of our community, allowing us to train there. Um, Brought down by Kyle Curry. Excited to see what that team has. Um, our wrestling program coming up this winter. Back and, to the um, um, my little, down one of the things I'm so thankful for is we offer elementary wrestling here right. at Trinity. My little boy was in the second grade last year, Coley, and he did um, he did wrestling, wrestling for the first time. Nice. Matt Lake was his coach. Correct. Many of you uh, probably watching this broadcast know Matt Lake. He did a phenomenal job with those young elementary school wrestlers, um, and uh, just just a great man. And uh, really really poured into my son, who's about ready to start practice next week. Now we're in the third quarter yeah. to score. And then last but not least, our, our uh, basketball team, and we'll talk a little bit about that when we come back. Uh, we'll be back right after this break. My opponent states that Lawrence County is one of the most dangerous counties in the state of Georgia. Look with me on the screen. Burglaries, down. Larceny, down. Aggravated assaults, down. Homicides, one in 17, one in 18, and one in 19. For a county this size, that's remarkable. Rape, down. Robberies, down. Auto thefts, down. These are the numbers. Crime is down. We turn in the stats for Lawrence County, Dublin, and then East Dublin turn in their own stats. But I work closely with Chief Chapman, Chief Lukey, we're there to assist them in any way, and any time the chief needs us, I'm only a phone call away. Citizens, if you re-elect me as sheriff, I'll work hard to continue to make you a safe community. I'm Larry Dean, and I'll approve this message. All right, well, welcome back to Trinity Christian School at the Cleave tonight for Homecoming 2020. 
Uh, we're excited to 42-8 uh, to eight right now. Bullock, Bullock Academy is on Open top. Fourth quarter, second coming out of, out of halftime, the Crusaders have uh, come out on fire. They took their first drive all the way down the field, made it 42-8, uh, to eight, playing really hard right now, Trinity Christian School. That defense is out there, again, working really hard. It's second down and 10, Bullock Academy. So run up the middle, the hit at the line of scrimmage. Once again, our linebackers came in really hard, played really good uh, defense right now. It's going to be third down and 10. Lee on the love, carry. love to get a Your stop right here, get our offense back on the field playing. Bring They're playing really down. with a lot of confidence right now. Yeah, this is an energized team. Absolutely. So big third down play right here, third and 10. Bullock Academy trying to Add more to the score. Trinity trying to hold him right here. Got a sweep right. Oh, he's That's hit about solid. a yard deep. Great defense by Trinity Trinity Christian by School. Mitchell Gay. Excellent play. Play. Fourth down. Mitchell Gay coming Four off meters. the line, getting off his block and making a great tackle in open space. It's going to be fourth down. And it looks like where they are on the field, about the 33 yard line. Looks like Bullock Academy's just going to go for it here. Fourth and 10. Nope, sending on the, looks like they're going to send on the punter right now. Or I take that back, maybe the field goal kicker. See what they do here. Yep, looks like it's going to be the field goal kicker. Right before the half, this, that long shot. Yeah. Uh, this, this gentleman uh, here tried a 60 yarder. And timeout call in the field. We've got a timeout Bullock call right charge, now. Timeout in the half. Bullock Academy taking a timeout to, to talk about this a little bit. Maybe had some confusion. I'll give you We're going to take a timeout. 50, 50 We're at raffle the Cleve Warnick Field Friday night. We'll be right Run, back. Pull. Middle Georgia families want to feel safe. Middle Georgia families want to feel protected. Middle Georgia families want to feel secure in their own homes. Over 1,000. That's the number of open, unresolved, and unprosecuted cases that our current district attorney has sitting on his desk. 11. That's the number of child sexual assault and sexual abuse cases our current district attorney has dismissed in one county alone, where one child sexual abuser was able to go free and molest yet another child. 12, that's the number of open and unresolved child sexual abuse and sexual assault cases our current district attorney has in one county alone. Zero. That's the number of gang charges that our current district attorney has brought during his entire time as district attorney. I'm Adrian Love, and I'm a proud Soperton native. I have prosecuted over 100 gang charges during my career. I've successfully headed a gang unit. I have won the last murder cases that I've tried. I've won the last child sexual abuse cases that I've tried. Our current district attorney cannot say the same thing. It is time to start protecting middle Georgia families by electing me, Adrian Love, as our next district attorney. Well, welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field. Chuck Grooms here with Kelly Toller. We're here at Homecoming 2020, Bullock Academy. On their 33-yard line, going to attempt a field goal here. It is up, and it looks like just short. missed it, yes. maybe yeah. by Good half a yard. Ball, just yeah. short. Uh, this kid, number 15 from Bullock Academy, has a leg on him and uh, almost put it through the upright. Yeah, so I'm great gonna... stop, great stand by Trey. We have a winner at $46. Defense. We'll be right back after this.
The times we are living in are very different than any we have ever experienced. Hello, I'm Jackie Dalton. I'm the Clerk of Superior Court here in Lawrence County. The COVID pandemic has forced us to make many changes, and I can assure you today that we have made the right decisions in this office to continue uninterrupted and to offer you first-class customer service. It is my hope and prayer that all of you stay healthy and safe. And if my office can help you in any way, please do not hesitate to call. Well, welcome back to Trinity Christian School. I want to mention our sponsors here, some of our sponsors, City of Dublin Natural Gas. Start saving today with natural gas. It's half the price of electricity. First and 10, Trinity Crusaders. Jim around the right side, great pickup. Before Jim Cohen on the keeper around, like he's right got in. about nine yards on the play, maybe eight yards. Uh, great momentum coming out that second half, and it's Big held up. Nine on the play, bring up second down and one for the Crusaders. We got ten minutes still left in the third quarter. Playing really well right now, defense and offense. Let's see if we can uh, add some points to the board. Dr. Toller's with us as well tonight, and uh, we were just talking about um, a lot of things, but about to get into the new basketball season coming up. First down play, there's a pitch, there's a fumble, lost it in the backfield, and Bullock Academy they jumped, right on it. jumped right on the ball, and it's going to be first down Bullock Academy. Ball about, comes loose in the backfield. About the 22-yard line, 23-yard line. They'll take over first down and 10. So, Dr. Toller, we were talking about basketball season up last year. Coach Paul Williams came in, did an incredible job, kind of energizing uh, everybody. Right. First and 10 for Trinity. Uh, if you didn't get a chance line. last year to come watch a Trinity Christian School uh, basketball game, girls and guys, you need to come watch one this year. That's right. They, uh, they, they came in with a, a new uh, vigor last year. It was a lot of energy. Uh, I, I, I love watching basketball. It's always exciting because you're right there on them. We, uh, we're, we're, we're excited to get another first season coming. Time out in the half. Yeah, we're excited for what Coach Paul doing. And um, we, we're, we're just, you know, we'd love for you to come out and see. He, uh, like you said, the, the excitement. Uh, the hard work they're doing in the off season, just kind of watching their, their their boys work, it's, it's just been fun. And um, you know, uh, Paul's done a great job, but and our women's coach Lacey Shepard has been uh, here now, been a staple at Trinity. She's done an incredible job over and over again, and it seems like she always has her teams in the hunt as well. Uh, my daughters had the opportunity to play for the last couple of years, and. Uh, they're going to be exciting to watch too. Um, uh, lost a few key girls last year, but uh, got a great, great core coming back. Um, and it's so, if you get a chance and, and, and you want something new this winter, come watch some of our team sports, um, whether it be wrestling or whether it be basketball or whether it be swimming. We'd love to see you on campus or around. Uh, Bullet gets a guy out in space on the right side. Uh, right side, running 24 back, gets it down. Looks like it around the right end. Looks like he stepped out of bounds. I believe he stepped out of bounds. They're going to mark it. Uh, there's a right flag out, on the field. Right at about the three yard line. Looks like there's a flag on the field also. Um, it's the first time in the second half yeah, that they really got ball, loose. Right. And um, good news for Trinity is a holding call on Bullock Academy, so it's going to bring right. it back. Um, but yeah, we'd love for you to come out and uh, and a lot more than just sports. There's a lot going on. Our chapel programs are weekly. They've had to really uh, do some different things with that this year uh, to make sure there's spacing. But um, but excited about the, the, the be a content spot they're getting the there. The truth. Uh, our Bible classes sort of first now. Uh, daily that our children are getting. If you're interested in that, they get to sit in a 50-minute Bible, Bible class, class every day. Daily and hear God's word. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, what, a, what a blessing that is. It is, it is, it is wonderful. Second down and one on the after the penalty. Great defensive um, work right there to stop him at the line. But- um, 24 gears, yeah, we're carry in the middle. So, so thankful to not just be a private school, but be, but be a Christian school. Back to the line and, uh, of scrimmage. Up uh, a lot of people down. don't know uh, a lot of difference 
And the difference is that we get to put God first, first. in all that we do. Yeah, amen. And uh, man, I had the honor to be able to teach God's Word here at Trinity for 13 years to coach and I uh, got to teach Bible every day. And right. I mean, it was awesome. Yeah. That will keep you on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> we have a run up the middle for Bullock Academy on second, second down and four. Garrison Lee on the carry at the middle and he will get into the end zone from for another Bullock touchdown. From about 14 yard line and he gets into the end zone. So the defense has been holding and holding and holding and they got a short field and then um, and then Bullock scores on the on the touchdown run there. They capitalize on that just on the attempt yeah. extra point. Just... So on the attempt to extra point, number 29 for Bullock Academy. Almost blocked. Uh, but it's I can't up and good. Up Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representative for Lawrence, Trutland, and Johnson Counties is proud to support our local high schools, our East Lawrence Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Lawrence Raiders, the Trutland County Vikings, and the Johnson County Trojans. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representatives. Go team! Portion of this program is brought to you by Bailey's Custom Flooring. Treat your home or business to a makeover today with Bailey Custom Flooring, a proven contractor of commercial and residential coverings. Bailey Custom Flooring, locally owned and operated by Bill Bailey, offering floor covering sales and installation. For more information, call 290-6084. Welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field on this beautiful Friday night. Our homecoming festivities. We're in the second half, 7.38 left in the third quarter. Bullock just punched one in after a great defensive effort by Trinity. And Bullock now is kicking off to us to see what we can do here on offense. So it's been great um, here at homecoming festivities to see a lot of our alumni back Coming in back, town. Yeah. It's always great to see those students who've gone away uh, to different universities around the country. Yes. Um, great run up the middle. Um, all Wade the way. Walker will return all the way back the 30, to the 37 yard line. Yard line. First Wade down and 10. He's had a good night tonight. Um, hard worker. Runs the ball hard when he gets the opportunity to as well. So uh, 49 to 8 right now. Trinity's not laid down. They're, they're playing their hearts out here in the second half. And uh, since halftime, we have an eight to eight score or eight to seven score. Trinity's on top in the second half. Um, Coach has got them playing really, really well. This coming back with a lot of heart this second half. Run up the middle. And they're picking up where they left off. Yep, great start for the offense. And been able to spin move all the way up to the 40 yard line. Got about five 42. yards on the, on we'll the play. Second down and five for the Crusaders. So second and five with about 6.36 left. We've been talking a lot about winter sports. We've been talking a lot about the sports currently going on right now, cross country. And then we're finishing before the last break on the opportunities we have here at Trinity to go to chapel, to have Bible every day. Just a beautiful op uh, opportunity. Great pass. Pass in 10, North 25. Looked like he was game. pass Call interference the on the play. Yeah. Um, Looks like he was face guarded a little bit there, but uh, didn't get the call. They still almost made the catch, but it was incomplete there. Got a 15, 16 yard pass and um, gonna be incomplete. So we got third down right here and, uh, and about five to go. See if we can keep this momentum going. Not only do we um, have Bible every day here at Trinity and Chapel, but we also, something's dear to my heart and uh, Coleman scrambles, passes out to the left side, incomplete pass. Pass intended number 10, Wade um, Walker. Falls incomplete. Be fourth down in about four, but one of the one of the things that Trinity uh, board and our and our allows us to do every year is go on a missions trip. Mm. And uh, it's dear to my heart. Matter of fact, uh, that's what I that's you know what, well. I, what I'm doing now. <laughs> so I'm uh, able to to help in missions in our community under the Lawrence Baptist Association, under the leadership of uh, Mr. Bobby Jones, and also with SCORE International, uh, doing mission trips uh, around, the, around the world. And so 
uh, man, just what an opportunity for, for a school kids. to this allow size. these kids to do this. Yeah. And you've made that trip how many times? Um, with Trinity, probably 15, yeah. 16 times altogether, about phenomenal. 23 times. That's phenomenal. So, so now taking on the field. This so we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get back. Um, excited to be here at Trinity Christian School, 49 to 8, Bullock Academy. We'll be right back. I made a campaign promise to raise our deputy pay and bring morale up at the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department. With the help of the Lawrence County Commissioners, I've raised the deputy's pay from $34,000 a year to $38,000 for a starting road patrol deputy. I'm proud of this accomplishment. I've also added three additional deputies to our patrol unit to be able to patrol our communities. We've made more cars visible on our streets in our communities. I've also put five resource officers in our schools. We're the first school district in the state of Georgia to arm our teachers. We didn't take this lightly. Since this program has been implemented, the cooperation between the Lawrence County deputies and our teachers, there's been a bond built, and I feel like we have one of the safest school systems in the state of Georgia. I'm Larry Dean, and I approve this message. We're at Roach Farm and Garden, and hunting season is here. It's that time of year. Need to get your food plot going. Carry a full line of Rack Master by Pennington Seed. Wildlife mix, deer mix, peas, oats, soybeans, iron clay peas, and wheat. And for your dove hunters, milo, sunflowers, and feed wheat. Even carry mojo decoys. Full line of trophy feeders, gravity, and spin feeders. And once you get them, you need to have something to put in them. With bulk corn, we got corn on the cob, deer feed from ADM, Antler Extreme, and 4S Draw. You will soon need something to cook all the game. We got grills, griddles, deep fryers, not to mention outdoor benches, chairs, and fire pits. Keep in mind, we got a full line of Carhartt clothes. Want to make your feet happy? Pick up a pair of boots. We got Rocky, Georgia Boot, and Twisted X. Need trail cameras or rechargeable batteries? We got Spy Point, Wild Game Innovations, Plot Watcher, and Stealth Cams. Come check us out. No time to get your minerals out in the spring? You still got time. Roach Farm and Garden carry salt blocks, mineral blocks, trophy rock, vapor, and deer cane. Need a place to sit? We carry Millennium Lock-On Deer Stands and Tower Stands from Custom Outdoors. Don't forget to pick up some Voodoo Deer Lure. It puts a hex on them. Come see us at Roach Farm and Garden, two locations, Dublin and Wrightsville. All right, well, welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field. 450 left in the third, Trinity Christian School, fourth down and five. And let's see if we can pick this up right here. There's a long pass yeah, down yeah. the right hand side. He makes the catch. He's going for the sideline. He's got a hey. touchdown. Touchdown. Got a Chandler Asbell. Chandler Asbell. Come all the way down for a Trinity touchdown. I tell you what, that was a great designed route, great designed play on fourth and five. Everybody was thinking they were going to run, run the it. ball and uh, checked out the Chandler. He was wide open, great throw, hit him in stride. And man, this offense has come out, this, this team come has come out, and they have played their tails off here. So they're in the same formation that they typically get in. Looks like they could uh, kick out of it or run a two-point conversion. They're gonna Zane go Shirley to on the, attempt, the extra point. Zane Shirley is back. Young man, sophomore right here. Uh, great soccer player, and he's our field goal kicker. It's up. And it is good. Pick it up and good. And with 432 remaining in the game, we're sure. Bullet it is 49. 49 Trinity, 15. 15. Trinity Christian Schools come out in the second half and playing some good football right now. We'll be right back right after the break. I'm Don Carville with Dublin Nissan. Giving back to our community is at the heart of our business. At Dublin Nissan, giving back means joining the fight against breast cancer. Buy from us in October and we'll make a donation to local charities for the fight to stop breast cancer. Only Dublin Nissan delivers the Rogue Sport S at over 5,000 off MSRP. And this Dublin Nissan Versa SR is only 17.8. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. All right, welcome back to Cleve Warnick Field. Trinity Christian School here with Dr. Toller. 4.32 left in the third. 
Porter excited to be here. There's an onside kick. It's going to get out of bounds. It's going to be a flag on that play. Good thought right there because we got one earlier. earlier. But That's right. We were just talking right before the break about uh, the, the mission trip. The, the school Crusaders. allows its, its students to have the opportunity to go on. It's not a required trip. Students have to, uh, you know, want a desire to go. They, um, to, they have to write an essay. They have to have a pastor or a teacher write a, a write a uh, recommendation yep. for them. And uh, they walk through you know, some different training of throughout the year and I've had the opportunity to lead that trip. Now, now Lacey Shepard's going to lead it. I'm going to go help with them. But what a what a great ball, opportunity to have school the school offers yard line. the opportunity to do to see uh, yeah to uh, see another way of life, to see a, another culture, to just get out of this area and see what the rest of the world looks like and, right. and how you can help. That's right. First and ten, right here, Bullock Academy on their third eight yard line. Got them at the line of scrimmage down. Yeah, and not, and not only um, does Trinity have the opportunity been to partner the with Score International and go to the Dominican Republic. Crusaders will meet in the backfield. It'll be a loss uh, of two on the play. Bring up second down and 12. We have a, a missions uh, project, project that they do here mm -hmm. with local youth pastors. Uh, we're trying to give them the opportunity to be a part of fulfilling the Great Commission. So not just overseas in a different right. country, but right. also right here in mission projects, Operation Christmas Child. There's so many things. Um, that they're doing here, uh, even for our own community. So that's right. an exciting thing. Oh, yes. So second and 11, Bullock Academy. Defense playing great ball right now. They look hungry. Oh, they got him they in, the got in the backfield. Blown up the play. In the seven minute area on the keeper. About five or six yards on the play. Defense is playing very, very good. back in the backfield. And that's got to be exciting to our coaching staff after that first half. All right. But yeah, talking about the missions opportunities, um, uh, we'd love for you if, if, to, to get a chance to come visit Trinity Christian School. Um, I'll great bring up third atmosphere. down and 18. And you know, one thing we were talking about at one of the breaks was, uh, you know, we're, we're, in, we're in school in, in first person teaching five days a week. Right. Uh, didn't know what that was going to look like, but God's been good and we've had the opportunity to be back and do that. That's right. And I think the kids are excited, the teachers are excited. I'm sure the parents are very excited. And uh, so yeah, we've been blessed to be here every day. Got a flag, flag on, on the play, play right there. Flag on the play prior to the snap. I believe it's going to be. I'll be delay a game. Delay That'll a back game look right up there. five more yards. Bring up third down and 21. So uh, great opportunities throughout the, the, the year to come out and watch. Even if you don't have somebody uh, that you know here at Trinity, if you just want to come on campus to see a game or or uh, just, just come out and uh, uh, see one of the programs. It's a great opportunity to do that. Yeah. We're replete with sports. We've got arts. Third and 21 right here. Going to run it up the middle for no gain. It's going to be fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away and we're going to get a chance to put some more points up on the board. A minute 44 left in got the game. Up in the line of scrimmage. We got a timeout. Trinity Christian School just took the timeout time right out there. Call the field. We will be back in just a minute.